wants to take an intro. Oh, he wants to take an intro. Go for it. Go for it. Hey, guys, my name is Tony Pepperoni, and welcome back to the SSM Podcast. Try again. And and just like that, and just like that, Lib was fired. (laughs) Just like that, really. Uh, Hey, guys, um, this is SSM Podcast, I think, episode 29. We, due to unforeseen misfortunes, Justin Justin being Having kids, dummy. <laughs> Responsibilities, being a parent, all that bullshit. Yeah, J- Justin's sick now, though, so we, we don't have the, the video podcast for the week. So instead, me, Colin, and Mac have decided we're going to do a fun Hello. audio podcast. Yay. Anytime I decide to come on SSN, something goes wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Anytime I want to hear. Right? Uh, I'm we starting to see a correlation you. here. Mm-hmm. Oh, we love having you around. We love having oh, you around. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got like a couple of topics we're gonna cover, but um, today we're just we're not as like serious, you know. We're it's, just we're just shooting are we the shit today. Well, a <laughs> little bit. serious. We got a little serious with like the whole game of the year, movie of the year. Right, we took right. that kind of seriously. The thing is, we yeah, always like come in with a game plan, and then we actually get there, and we just drop throw it entirely. We go yeah, completely else. throw it away. Someone says Red Dead, we all start yelling Dutch, and then well, everyone starts doing. Oh, I'm so doing the Dutch accent. <laughs> I haven't played the game yet. I haven't finished it. Yeah, I'm I know. A, I'm a Lazy Ooh, fuck. No spoilers. No, no spoilers, spoilers please. I'm, I'm gonna play. Like, I'm, I'm like, trying to. Yeah. Now I know how you felt. Lib, I'm lazy fuck. Like I haven't finished Red Dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, there's, a, there's a lot to finish, though. There's a lot to finish. Yeah, what, what do we sort of have to talk about this week? Uh, so there was one rumor going around about the Black Widow movie, the Marvel Black Widow Ooh, movie. The one that's been rumored forever? Yeah, the one, uh, well, it's confirmed now. They have, like, a director, and they have a script and all this shit. They're in pre-production now, but it's apparently uh, they're considering going R-rated with it. Nice. Yeah. I agree. Um, I, like, I, I obviously support and agree. That's just a weird decision for Disney. I wonder how, like a part of the MCU it's going to be like if it's going to be like it's almost kind of like how Deadpool isn't technically X-Men because he's rated R and yeah. like he can't show up in like Dark Phoenix and be like hey fuck it fuck that <laughs> shoot people's heads off you know I feel like they wouldn't do that with Black Widow well though. I know okay. I know like not to the extent of Deadpool but like Make whatever she, like thing. whatever character development character development we get in that movie won't be Wait, as explicit yeah. in other MCU movies true true I, like, I feel like it might be more of like a Captain America Winter Soldier thing right. where it's just one of the more kind of violent, more real kind of grounded violence type movies. Yeah. I, I think I think the one thing, like, like if they do do Radar, that means that Black Widow is going to kill people, which is dope. Hell yeah. yeah. Super supportive of that, but it's going to be... I they're gonna have to Black Widow killing people. <laughs> they're they're going to have to explain in that movie why she doesn't really do it because... She does kill people in the movies, but not really. It's like a, <laughs> technically, she's like, not re- you know breaking people's necks. No, know. it's like well, it's like very soft. And then just for them to do like a radar movie where she's like fucking blowing people's mm-hmm. brains out and shit, they're either gonna have to explain it or they're not gonna explain it. And then in the well, like, movies, it's they have alluded to her in like Age of Ultron like having a dark past where like she was a lot more violent. So I wonder if they're gonna like do like a prequel. I don't know if it's confirmed. Yeah, or not, yeah, it's a yeah. That was or not. another one of the rumors that it's taking place like during the Cold yeah. War. Or something like when like she that. was like Cold in Russia. War. Yeah. How old is she? It's <laughs> she looks pretty good if she was around in the Cold well, War. Well, you know, a lot of people in the MCU have been frozen in a safe for later, yeah. so maybe, yeah, maybe just like, maybe Black Widow was in, like yeah. frozen for two years. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. Well, like she has like she has like ties to like Russia and stuff though right yeah she's like yeah. Natash- Natasha Romanoff and stuff like that yeah yeah so she uh, really dropped that Russian accent uh real quick yeah she's she really America <laughs> yeah she's like hello my name is Natasha and then she stepped foot and then she stepped foot in America and it was like hi you sound <laughs> just like Scarlett hey, yeah. oh my god <laughs> Sounds like a, like a regular white dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, hey, hey there, friend. My name's Black Widow. How are you today? Are you saying that Russians aren't regular white dudes? No. Okay. The, the We're getting hacked. <laughs> All right. The this is with, the last SSN episode. Yeah. Thanks for coming yeah. out. Uh, the okay. thing with like rated R action movies is like they aren't always like based around sex and that because I'm pretty sure if they're going with the rated R red it's not going to be heavily sexual like they're not going to have no. fucking no. Scarlett Johansson getting railed on screen they're not going to go that fucking route with it <laughs> so I feel like they're going to go more let's pull a little too hard here, at right? that. I agree with you it's just the idea of going into an MCU movie to see <laughs> Scarlett Johansson get ripped <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be like one guy that like pays to see that <laughs> yeah, you know I was really hoping Scarlett Johansson would get railed in that uh yeah. 
Black yeah. Widow movie, and I'm really upset. One yeah. star. I mean, that was the thing about uh, Atomic Blonde. I didn't know that movie had though that level of like sex scenes. You didn't? I didn't. No, I, I saw that I, movie I, for that reason. I have I, not seen Atomic Blonde. Did okay. you see it after I told you about the? Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. it's by the same guy that does John Wick, right? Or like yeah. the same guy. Yeah. Is it? I, mean, I, I think it is. Yeah, is like it the, in the same universe ooh, as John Wick? Ooh. Could we see Atomic Blonde no. in John Wick Three? Hot take. No. Coming out no. with a quick theory. No. I, 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 yeah, I don't see that happening. But I'd be all for it. Isn't it <laughs> like Atomic Blonde takes place in like the '60s? Or yeah, something, something like that. I have no idea. So be like, like Charlie's Theron in old makeup and a wall yeah. kicking ass. Maybe she got frozen. Which would Maybe actually she got be fucking hilarious. I would pay to see that. Old person assassin. Yeah, just right. get like a really young stunt person or action star or someone just to like be an old person make them and kick ass. Be like Uncle Drew, but not for basketball, but be for, yeah. <laughs> be for action. Uncle Drew kicking ass. <laughs> It'd be good. I think that's, that's what the I think that's what the next Uncle Drew movie needs to be. Also, is just like I they want to play basketball. <laughs> didn't the, didn't the last one do like surprisingly well? Oh, I, I, that was the, like like it didn't do well. The new well, Uncle like, Drew is the number first movie I've ever walked out of a theater on. It was really? that not funny. I was real disappointed because like I usually tend to see movies that I don't want to walk out of the theater on. Uh, I I kind of wanted to walk out on Holmes and Watson. That was you the, saw it? I saw it. Oh my, oh my god! god. Okay, there was one part of the movie where I kind of like eh, that was kind of halfway fine, but that was it. it was, nah. There may be one point when like I would like like nose exhale like oh it was funny. <laughs> By the way, I like that that we're now talking to people that have seen Holmes and Watson like they're war veterans. <laughs> oh so my god, god, how I've was it? Some, I've seen some shit. I, lo- I lost so many people. I lost <laughs> so many fucking brain cells in that movie. Don't mention Holmes in front of Colin. He's seen too much. PTSD. Just having like war nom flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of John Wick, have you guys seen the trailer yet? Yep. It does look good. Yeah. I showed it to oh, you. Oh, yeah. yeah. I literally, like, saw yeah, it on YouTube, right. and it was, like, it came out, like, an hour before, and I was, like, literally I like watched that. this right the fuck now. I, I, I haven't seen John Wick 2 in a while, so, I, like, I forget if this happened, but, like, I like how, like, the dogs are now fighting. I still haven't seen John Wick. That does two. <gasps> two. Number two. I saw the first one. Loved the first one. Yeah. I haven't seen number two yet. It's good. I mean, they're all good. they're all good. They're all good. Like, watch this guy punch this guy, and then also stab him 33 times, and then yeah. it's just, like, you're just going, fuck yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. like, the entire time. It's, it's one of those action movies where, like, watching it through, there's got to be at least... It's like the Die like, Hard of today. It's like, there's like 10 plus action scenes, like action set pieces. It, yeah, it's, it, but it's not tired out. You get through them and you're like, I want more. You <laughs> want more of this action. And just seeing, like, the ridiculous situation. John, okay, Keanu Reeves on a horse fighting a guy on a motorcycle. Yes. That is just an entire right. scene that I want to see. Several people with swords on motorcycles. I yeah, like, can't wait. Using Heads the dog, roll. using Jeez. the dogs, like coordinating dogs synchronized in an action scene in the middle of a gunfight. That yeah. looks I've never seen that in a movie before, like in that way, and I want to see it. I'm excited. I also like how like the the John Wick franchise and like all of it, like they like took this like really simple thing and then just like kept like expanding on it and like yeah, really. It they're, wasn't they're just like let's punch people and then John Wick Two comes out, let's punch people again. <laughs> <laughs> like let's punch, let's, it's like let's punch people again with a story. <laughs> Yeah, so the thing that I'm assuming is John Wick, get your fucking mute your You're so laptop, popular, I'm on. jealous. They're all like texts from that I've already answered, they just didn't get to my laptop <laughs> yet. So, so the thing that I'm assuming they do well with John Wick too is they kinda of keep building on that universe with the hotel and like the all the <laughs> assassin industry, all that. Sorry, I'm sick. Look at that. Oh, oh they're looking at for those looking who at can't see because this is an audio. Nick Kroll is in this? What the fuck? Oh uh, yeah, I forgot he was in it. He's I don't forgot know. a lot of things. Oh, that's Joe Trump yeah. fucking get out. Yeah, he was. That was oh, one yeah, I remember. I was kind of excited at the start of the yeah. movie. I was like, oh, I didn't realize this guy's in it. That, that, that was my that was my reaction to Bird Box. Oh, hey, that guy from Get Out's in it. This is oh, hey, that guy who's Eminem. Oh, oh. Oh. the guy who Eminem's. Scarlett Johansson. Oh. Johansson. Yeah, <laughs> the guy who got his career destroyed by Eminem's in this movie. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. I almost forgot that Machine Gun Kelly was in there. Oh, dude, I thought. Oh, uh, well, he's in there for like a second. I'm like, I'm like pretty sure that the the main black guy was a worm in Eight Mile, who ate in Eight Mile worm. Worm is one of the rappers yeah. that um, Eminem beats. Really? In uh, what like a freestyle. I gotta look this up because it might yeah. just sound blatantly. It ridiculous. is important for this um, podcast. Also, Uncle that. Drew, eighteen million dollar budget, and it made back forty five million. Eighteen right. million. It made budget. money. There's no yeah, reason they couldn't make Christ. a sequel where uh, someone takes over the basketball <sighs> court and they gotta punch people to uh to fix it 
I keep nope. getting depressed whenever I see like whenever I like see the budget of a shit movie and I realize like there was like that's so much fucking money. That's this right. like eighteen million dollars. Even this super shitty movie is making more money making movies than I've ever all right, done. So yeah, they're spending wrong. so much. He was he's not an eight mile at all. He just looks like the dude from eight mile. And what, Wait, Anthony so Mackey? Not Anthony Mackey. I know who the Falcon is. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but. What, what are we talking about? We've gotten so fucking far off of that. Uh, like, I'm, I'm just saying, like... We're eight, off the rails. That's what I said. We are, off the, we are constantly off the rails. But, like, they spend so much fucking money on these shit movies, and I'm thinking, mm-hmm. I could do so much better with my shit. Just get the money on that good movie. Come on, please. Give me one studio. million dollars, and I will do a fucking great movie, I feel like. <laughs> Which is really cocky to say. Give me, give me a hundred thousand like, dollars, and I will make this the best me. movie to my ability. <laughs> yeah, really. This is me just being fucking... Give me a hundred dollars. I need money. to pay for groceries. Just I yeah, need, I'm, I'm broke. Just give me money, please. I want to own my own broke college my own pizza place. <laughs> I want to have Tony Pepperoni pizza place. <laughs> <laughs> That's like by far my favorite like fake accent when you're fucking around. Is like that shitty Brooklyn accent. <laughs> like, hey, I'm walking. Hey, what's the matter for you? <laughs> <laughs> and like from my one experience being in New York City, like people actually talk like that. That's the thing. I actually heard people unironically yell that type of shit. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, get the fuck out of the way. And it's like, oh, well, because like whenever, the fuck, man. whenever tourists, like New York is fake, right? So like they, whenever tourists come in, they put on this facade. Yeah, it's it's right? real. Wait, what? New York is a real place. Yeah. Oh. It, you know, it actually exists. What? New York, that city with Spider Man? That's, that's that one with Spider Man. The one that the got government. fucked up by the aliens in yeah. Avengers. Yeah, I remember that fucking movie. <laughs> that's a real it's place. It's a great movie. What are you talking about? Nah. It's the conspiracy government. <laughs> conspiracy government. <laughs> They're just hiding the city. They just like, have a big fake yeah. city that no one can actually go to. When you get on the plane, like. It just looks like it's flying, and they they shake it a little bit, you know, but it never it never lifts off. You just you stay in the same spot. <laughs> I, just, I just imagine like they just imagine like they bring up like rollers or something on the sides of the windows and just like crank it, so it looks like you're like going down yeah. the runway and it was like shaking the plane. So do some so dude with a hose like hosing down the windows outside. It's like oh, it's raining outside. I can't see out the window. <laughs> and like the idea that you like. You're so adamant that you live in a Truman Show world that you just won't believe that the world is real. Here's like one of the most like, where are the cameras? I see it. You're just gonna. I know. Crazy I know. Crazy. You, you guys, guys are all high. You're not actually my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost We're so many actors. relationships because I just assume. I keep that calling them out on their bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're actors. Holy shit. Oh fuck. What? So Uncle Drew. Piece of shit. Of shit. Piece of um, shit. I, was, I wanted that to be like one of those like really weird comedies that was actually kind of fun to do. I, I, I Shaquille O'Neal's acting career is taking off. Yeah. It never. Kaz- it Kazam never two. Stop. Kazam two is coming out soon. Steal. I Steal the sequel. Hot take. Oh. Hot SSN oh. take. I, I'm breaking this news now. Okay. Kazam two sequel happening. I look it up. Kazam. What the fuck you is never, Kazam? Never you don't know Kazam? Kazam? No. What the fuck is Kazam? Colin is officially fired from SSN. Kazam. Kazam. Shaquille O'Neal. Him. He's a genie. He's a genie. Shaquille. Oh you my god. Heard, you don't remember Shaquille O'Neal as a genie? That, that looks like that looks terrible. I, 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 I want to watch it. Shaquille O'Neal as a genie. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Is that just what? Get Shaquille O'Neal as a genie. Oh man. Um. That reminded me of. I was watching. I was on like a random YouTube binge earlier today. There's the thing, you know the whole Dark Side of the Moon, uh, Wizard of Oz thing? Yeah. Where, like, if you sync it up, it, right, like, oh, it like, so supposedly, like, like yeah. works. Apparently, it's, it's really weird. Apparently, something incredibly similar happens with Paul Blart, too. I'm and not Dark joking. Side of Moon. Dark Side of the Moon. Like, yeah, Dark Side of the Moon. And this, and this guy, like, had the little clips of, like, parts where it syncs up, and it is fucking legendary. Like the, like, the music is slows down, like, you'll see a heart, you hear a heartbeat and all this shit, and, like, a really tense scene, and all this, like, triumphant <laughs> moments in the movie, yeah. in the movie line up perfectly with the music, and I watch these clips and holy I hope, fucking shit. I hope there's someone, like, constantly dedicated to, like, putting movies to Dark Side of the Moon that no one would, like, understand. Like, yeah. what would the Despicable Me 3 sound like if I put Dark Side of the Moon to it? That's where you get shit like this from the pursuit of Paul Blart. Yeah. yeah. Who the fuck yeah. said, I'm gonna play Dark Side of the Moon to Paul Blart 2, yeah. and it fucking... Someone who got high yeah, as real. fuck yes. and was like, <laughs> just left their music on and then also decided to watch Paul Blart 2. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think there's a lot of crossover between Pink Floyd fans and Paul Park fans? <laughs> 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 like, like, what kind of crossover is that? <laughs> the, the, yeah, who's, who is amazing. fans of both of those things? <laughs> <laughs> I, or, like, the, I, I, I think it'd be funnier if it was, like, on purpose. So, like, the DLP of Paul Park 2. Like, I remember seeing that movie because it's, like, the worst, like, right, like terrible writing direction. All that like, stuff. You thought Paul Park 1 was bad. <laughs> they get, like, some amazing cinematographer who, like, did this Roger all Deacons on purpose. Roger Deakins did Paul Park 2. He's like, no one paid attention to how important the camera work was in this because all, all the it, symbolism really is. Because <laughs> Paul Bart was just on on the screen farting. <laughs> okay, Paul okay. Bart. Okay, okay, okay. Let's fuck up. Okay, let's do. Let's get a budget. Let's make a full length movie. Let's like have the entire thing completely edited together so it works perfectly with Nickelback's all the right reasons. Right. That's at, that's the one with photograph. It's the one with that fucking piano song. That's oh my god! I say we should long. just do, we should do that, but just with that Nickelback song that's in the first Spider Man movie. So here, here, oh, save us. Not gonna stand here wait. See, that's, yes. that's a heroic I'm moment, in. so the entire right. movie would have to be heroic moments. <laughs> no, 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 be a heroic like, moment. No, it's also like a very deep, you know, sentimental song about love and loss. <laughs> So it could work with anything, I think. Hey guys, it's Mac, oh, aka man. number one Nickelback fan, ninety-seven. <laughs> Welcome oh, to my Nickelback man. podcast, the Nickelback. Oh, <laughs> Nickelback. Nickelback. Nickelback with Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> Nickelback. Nickelback podcast. Oh, I don't know if we've. Di- I think we have discussed it on the podcast about how Nickelback actually isn't that bad. Yeah, we always yeah. make jokes about it. It is, uh, they're so memeable. We they're so memeable. Memeable. We're the, we're I make jokes, jokes about them all the time. Well, yeah. Okay, but jokes. Even, even though I, 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 I see them in concert. But, like, <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't have any other songs saved on any of my, like, Spotify playlists or anything. But, like, if it comes on the radio, I'm not going to change the station. If yeah. I'm watching I'm Spider-Man. Not that if I'm watching Spider-Man and, you know, my yeah. favorite song comes on, it just happens to be written by Nickelback. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, okay, so, do you know what song is, like, the ultimate meme song in a movie in my opinion ocean man not ocean man all-star shrek not all-star shrek really it's from the movie daredevil oh Ooh. god uh, wake me up <laughs> <laughs> you guys heard the, the, the goofy version of oh it? my god <laughs> oh, i don't have it on i have it on hard drive uh, <laughs> that's worth anybody listening go watch the um electra training scene from daredevil yeah it's fucking um Jennifer Wait, Garner. Some people haven't seen Daredevil. Yes. Yes. How, how, seen, how is this not in the school curriculum? Watching that Daredevil, movie. the Ben Affleck. Welcome to yeah, Daredevil, really. Ben Affleck 101. John Favreau's in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. He always yeah, plays like his friend, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Kevin Spacey. And he puts like mustard Kevin in his Smith. coffee. Kevin no, Smith. Spacey. Smith. Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. Kevin Smith. <laughs> Sorry, no. Kevin, Kevin Smith. I get the Kevins mixed up every once in a while. I get the Kevins mixed up. I'm sorry, Kevin Smith. Too. You yeah, are not Kevin Spacey. Spacey. I love you, Kevin Spacey. Sorry. Rest in peace. I thought you said I love you, Kevin Spacey. I was like, that's absurd. Like, How can you sorry, say no, something sorry. so brave yet so controversial? <laughs> oh, sorry, his name is on the... Kevin Spacey is on the topic list while I was looking at it. Ooh. Why, what's, at what's, what's the... Oh, the, 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 we, the we really did video that came out fucking the, like, like a month ago. Video? Yeah. Ooh. Did you not see that? I have not seen that. Okay, okay. So, Colin, give us the rundown. Okay, so the same day it was announced that Kevin Spacey is, like, going to trial or there will be charges laid against him, whatever. This is, like, back in December. Well, I think, like, the video came out first, and then, like, they were like, yeah, you're charged with felony yeah. and sexual assault. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it was in the same day the video yeah. came out first. It was, this had to be, like, this was, was just so ironic and funny. That this was, like, like the day before Christmas or two days before Christmas. He releases a video where he's talking to the camera. He's in character as Frank Underwood from House of Cards. And he's talking, and he says suddenly, these... like commenting on like all like the accusations and shit. Yeah, and he's like, like, "But you want me back? You want me to do? You wouldn't what believe I'm this if someone said this. You want me to do what I'm yeah. gonna do? And uh, I'm not. I gonna... have a southern drawl. Is it this? <laughs> yes, yeah. it's that. It's oh, oh my god. god. I wouldn't play it. Yeah, I wouldn't play it. But there's like all these weird quotes of like. I'm going, going to take the blame for the things I did do because, you know, I don't want to take the blame for the things that I didn't do. So he's, like, subtly hinting that there are things he's, he's yeah. done, and he's just being the cr- literally the creepiest. It was so weird because he was fired from the show. Yeah. And how now are you still... How are you, one, able to use characters and, like, stuff like that from a show you're not a part of anymore? Like, is that kind of, like, copyright issue kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, I don't also, know. Also... 
you're not on that show anymore. Yeah, yeah also, also you're being investigated for a lot of creepy things, things and, and now you're putting about a video in which you are being I more have, creepy. I have an even bigger question. Who in the right fucking mind greenlit this? Because he was not the only person who was a part of this. Kevin Spacey yeah, actually someone was behind, behind the camera for this. Um, so, yeah, I don't think Kevin Spacey no. knows how to upload you know, the fucking It's YouTube. lit really well. Like, there, there was production. No, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't lit, lit well. well. Look, look at the video. It was not lit well. It's literally lit like dog shit. Yeah, just muting it. It's like, look at the video. It looks like dog shit. It's it's very possible that terrible edit. Like, it was like literally just like him in one new font. Like, look at that. It's fucking. I. Okay, if, if anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, look up Kevin Spacey, Let Me Be Frank. And it's just Kevin Spacey cry. being the absolute creepiest we've ever seen. It's literally reaffirming Man, this every sucks. creepy I thing we've ever seen. I used to like about. Kevin Spacey. Okay, yeah, I'm not even joking. Kevin Spacey used to be my favorite actor. He used to be before all this shit happened. Yeah. He was like the one of the actors who I could go to and be like, oh, I... Even if, like, I'll watch any movie, movie this guy's in. Yeah, yeah, literally, except, except that fucking cat movie. That was fucking weird. But like, Nine Lives? Well, that's when things started going downhill, I think. Yeah, 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 but, but like, he was, he was a fantastic actor, actor but then he started, started doing all that shit, so now I came out in good conscience to say I like him. He didn't start, he has been doing all that shit. We just found out about it. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. We, we didn't know. It's, you know uh, that, that was, uh, I was having, like, a conversation with someone just about that, and, uh, is your, is your recording stuff? No. Oh, it's, oh, yeah, it's getting bigger. <laughs> My bad. Um, but, like, I was talking to someone about it, and it was just, uh, talking about how, like, oh, I really liked Kevin Spacey until he did all that stuff, and then so it was like, well, we do gotta remember that he has been doing all that stuff. We just found out about it. And I was like, yeah, yeah that is yeah, kind of it's a very good point. Gorge. Well, that, that's yeah. the big thing about um, like any of those things when people like the, with the whole Me Too movement. A lot of it wasn't like, oh, people were doing it now. Let's crack on it. This is stuff that's been going on for so fucking long. Yeah, yeah really. Like, look back at a ton of movies, ton of productions and stuff. Literally, it puts a damper on any like um, Weinstein Company movie. Like, it, a Tarantino always worked with him. So I'll watch a Tarantino movie. And then that logo and then, pops up, and then... Yeah. yeah. Look, look, at look, that. look at that. Look at that. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. we're in a, like, lab right now where there's other... Look at that video. That's Nuno's. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's uh, Ileana's thing. Yeah, that's Ileana's thing. thing. Okay, yeah, okay, so <laughs> we are sitting in the middle of an editing <laughs> suite. Okay, we are sitting in the middle of an editing suite, which is, like, in the pit of our uh, school's, like, TV and film studios. And everyone's going to be so confused yes. watching this. Like, yeah. Okay, so, so, so like, editing suite. Okay, picture that. Okay, yeah, so, okay, so, so we're sitting a window. Okay, so, so we're, we're sitting in a room with a window on it, and outside the window are a whole bunch of computers, which all the film students use to, like, edit their videos and do all their classwork on. And we're looking at them, we're seeing our friend Nuno is on the screen. It's a project put together by Ili, by our other friend Iliana. Both of you two have been... Well, Nuno's on the problems of the podcast. Iliana's just on the SSX there. And so, so, like, they're, she's, she's watching, watching that video. And, like, <laughs> someone out there is watching you're that so, video. It's so, so like, confused. Encapsulated by this. I, I'm, I'm just, just trying to explain it because, like, it's, it's weird. To, the people gotta know. Yeah, yeah the, the people, people gotta, gotta know, like, what we were talking about. about. Whatever, uh, whatever. Moving on. Uh, Kevin yeah. Spacey fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah fuck, fuck Kevin Spacey. 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 Fuck, fuck him with that. But 88% of people like Nine Lives. On, according to Google. I don't How many people? Google users, 88% like the film. Because no one uses the Google reviews, so only people that like it do. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's one of those deals. Uh, uh, and if what? you like Google reviews, you probably like Nine Lives. And if you like Nine Lives, you should go. You probably like out. Kevin Spacey. And if you like Kevin Spacey, yeah. you probably like Colin him. Pre-820. Yeah, yeah. Pre-20, whatever the fuck that news came out. All right, let's, <laughs> let, let's <laughs> depressing <laughs> news here. Let's <laughs> depre- uh, what movies did you guys see over Christmas? Because we never talked about that in the last podcast. podcast. Uh, Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse? Yep. Are we yeah. talking like in theaters or just in general? In general. In general. In general. In general. In general. I bought a lot of movies over the uh, the Christmas break. I bought Annihilation and then I watched that. Ooh, movie. love that movie. So good. Love, love that movie. I'm watching it. Oh, I fucking love that movie. Okay, I went to see that movie with a couple of friends. Both of them, I'm not going to say who they were for obvious reasons, but both of them were very not in the right state of mind. Ooh. They had had some uh, brownies beforehand, which were not of the... Was well, they, 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 were a, they, they were a special type of brownie. I was going to say that. Yes. And I, I was a little jealous of them because they had a, some kind of fucking religious experience watching yeah. Annihilation <laughs> on it. Well, just I, think I, of I, Annihilation. I, I, like, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a trippy-ass trippy movie. Mm-hmm. So, so watching it while well, not in that state and then the right state of Existential yeah. dread for two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah really. Is that the Natalie Portman? Natalie Portman. Close. It was the same. Natalie Portman, directed by Alex Garland, who... Same guy that did Ex Machina. Yeah. 
a great, great and also a great director. director. Yeah, it's a fantastic. Movie. And like that was like his it's like his second movie or something like that. Yeah, yeah you know, like know. Like he did Twenty Eight Days Later, or he was a part of it. He, he was, was a writer. writer. He, he was, was a writer and all that stuff, stuff before he got into it. And Dread, Dread is credited. Has like you guys the, seen Dread? Like the yeah. Carl Urban. Yeah, yeah. Twenty Twelve one. Yeah, yeah, that's a great movie. Dead. I love the criminally movie. underrated. It love that movie. Any respect? That movie is dope. Wasn't there like a rumored sequel for it a while ago? There was. Yeah, there were. Yeah. Alex Garland also wrote the unmade Halo movie that was going to be directed by Peter Jackson and Daniel Blanc. Oh, that would have been sick. Yeah, yeah he, he wrote, wrote it. I have the script on my hard drive somewhere. Uh, but, but yeah, yeah he's, he's he's one of those filmmakers that's coming that I'm like really excited for because I really like what he does. He's made some great. He's made X Machina and now he made an Irish. That's like that's like a that's like a new addition to like directors that like whatever they come out with, I'm sold. Like I'm gonna see it. Alex Garland's one of them. Yeah, I think so. Like definitely. Yeah, not many directors can like sell a movie. Yeah, he's got me. How many? What what directors other than that do you think? do that for you because my big one's Edgar Wright I think mm-hmm. any Edgar Wright movie I'm going to go see regardless even if he just fucking writes uh, it or produces it David Fincher is one for me Fincher, maybe Hello. Christopher Nolan I bet yeah, yeah. Chris yeah. Nolan yeah. Chris Tarantino Denis Villeneuve oh yeah yeah, yeah. he's a good one what has he done uh, Blade, Blade, Blade Runner 2049 Prisoner. Arrival Prisoners and Sicario so really yeah, yeah. Not the, I, sequel, I, I not just the sequel, though. Not the sequel. Not the sequel. Not the sequel. Not the we don't talk about the sequel. You didn't like the sequel? I didn't see the sequel. It was all right. It wasn't as good as Sicario because Sicario was such a dope movie. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if it needed it. I don't think it did either. Sicario really stood out. And like, I, I like Josh Brolin. He was all right. Yeah. Uh, I saw Aquaman over the break, which I. But it's good. I like, I like it. it. Colin's, Colin's, Colin's always got the lists of like movies he watched. I yeah, never because like, I use. Okay, okay, we have the SSN doc to like keep track of all our topics and what's talking about. Yeah, have all this. He's always, he's always good showing off. I watch movies. Shut up. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I watch movies. I'm a film student who watches movies. Aquaman was solid though. Yeah, I still haven't seen either. I got eight dollars off on a movie I bought to go see Aquaman. So I think I kind of have to now. There you go. Go use it. Um, uh, I watched Baby Driver again because. <laughs> <Surprise. laughs> okay, is that, that not counting the time, time that you and I watched it together before we watched the movie? Yeah. Baby Driver poster. Because um, we watched it together because my brother has it like on YouTube, like the thing, and then I bought the DVD. I have the right. of it. So it was I on bought, sale. It was on sale at Cinema One for like ten bucks. And I was like, well, I can't not yeah, buy it. Yeah, mine was at Walmart, and I got the Blu-ray, so I had to watch it. And I fucking love it. I love that movie. So I watched it like much. twice in a week because like I had watched it by myself like the day I bought it. And then, like, the next day, like, my friend came over and was like, hey, you want to watch a movie? I was like, yeah, sure. He's like, oh, you got Baby Driver? Yeah. Let's <laughs> <Yeah, so laughs> watch it. Let's watch, watch it. it. Um, I went back and rewatched Homecoming again yeah. because of all nice. the Spider-Man hype. That movie's still, that, well, I mean, that movie was ever, like, bad. What do you guys think of the, the Far From Home trailer? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I like it. I'm, I'm super I'm, excited. I'm, I'm moderately excited. I'm, I'm not, like, like super pumped yeah, hype, whatever, whatever, but I like, like watch the trailer. Dude, I'm such a And I'm probably going to see the movie because, like, I'm an MCU fuck and, like, I'm a yeah. see all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they have all my money. Yeah, exactly. And anything Spider-Man, I'm going to be sold on. And Spider-Man's the one character I'm so deep into in terms of... Spider-Man Batman, I know so much about the comics and stuff. Yeah. So that fan service and stuff really fucking hits me. Yeah. When I saw Mysterio, I was like... That's really dope. Okay. But okay. when I saw him with the fucking dome yeah, helmet on after, I was nuts. that's when I was like, oh my fucking god, they did it. Yeah. I didn't know they. I didn't think. I they bet, did like, it. wasn't um Sam Raimi's Spider-Man four that he was working they on going to have Mysterio? It, it was either going to be in four or five because he was originally going to use Vulture. What was he going to make? He was, was, was going to keep going, going with him. He was going to keep going with him. But someone told him to stop. But what they were going to do with Spider-Man in four or five or whatever is they were going to reveal. You know how Bruce Campbell has all the cameos. Yeah, one, two, three. They were going to reveal he was Mysterio. Yeah, he was Mysterio watching Spider-Man the whole time. Time, which I thought was going to be cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited. excited. I don't know <laughs> that much about Mysterio or about whoever the other villains are. Like, like what the fucking elementals, elementals are. Yeah, there's called. big theories about like who those elemental people are. Oh, and, like what Mysterio so has to do with theories. it. Um, I can bust some theories for you if you guys want. I, I, got say, I, I have sort of going to bust them like you're going to like prove that they're wrong. No, no, not bust. Like just show them. Show them off. Show them. So one of the big theories is that um they're illusions because that's yeah the that's game the one plan, that i think he's like he's sinestro illusions. from uh yeah sinestro fucking syndrome from uh sort incredibles of. basically where like he wants to be yeah he wants like to, spider-man exactly so a lot of people are thinking that he's making these giant beasts as illusions and then defeating them and then everyone loves him um, which is like a tragic hero sort of thing and that is sort of mysterio's background a lot of interpretations he is like a good guy that 
shit happens that he has to be evil. He doesn't necessarily want to be evil. Um, the other, the other um, big one, though, is um, <clears throat> in the trailer. Any shot where they show an elemental be being, there is somewhere that shows text, like a license plate or like a sign or something, that shows text and numbers, and they all allude to certain comic books. So when the sand person's there, there's a license plate that says oh, like, yeah, AMS that. 697 or something. Which is it Amazing Sandman? Sp like, is that... It says Amazing Spider-Man six, issue 697, first appearance of Sandman. Hmm. They did the same thing with the Aquaman, first appearance of Hydra Man, same thing with the Lob Guy, first appearance of Mold Man. Hmm. But all these really slight ones, so as much as people are saying, oh, it's illusions that he's beating and stuff, well, I mean, they might. Be, Marvel likes to fuck with people, yeah, so they yeah. could be putting in these things just to I say, they could always, like, mesh, like, those characters to, like, the illusions. Like, yeah, exactly. Mysterio makes the illusion of Hydro Man, and, like, mm -hmm. that's all it is. Yeah, on, And on, then maybe, like, I don't know what's going on with that, like, with Sandman, like, I'd, I'd hope that they do Sandman later in the Spider-Man universe, and that's not just like, oh, it was a mis an illusion by Mysterio, and that was it. Yeah, like like Marvel kind of tried to do with uh, the Mandarin, because yeah, they had the yeah. Mandarin in there, but then they had that one like they Marvel like one shot one thing, shot, yeah. in which they revealed that like there actually is a Mandarin out there, and, and just pissed that he was using his name or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Like, that would have been sick. Like, yeah, sure, do that, but then like, bring it back. Bring it back. Like, bring like, like, do it. He's, a, do he's an awesome. Or maybe maybe, maybe they, maybe they are. Maybe they're going to eventually. They're going to actually. Do it properly this time. Maybe. It's it's also the idea of like, hey, we want to keep Marvel grounded. They're like doing the Mandarin as this giant magical being with magic rings. They're like, that's kind of goofy, and I get that. And they're like, instead, we're gonna do like a terrorist leader. <laughs> that's all fun and games until they bring in Doctor Strange. Yeah, it's all yeah. magic, all and magic. it's like, and it makes sense. Well, why don't like, we just do the Mandarin? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also like, I feel like that would have been cool for Iron Man three. How it like would reinforce the whole thing of like. Tony having to figure out like oh he's part of a bigger universe there's more to the like tech have, and like, science and shit he has to fight like Tony yeah. Stark who's very like mechanical and like he whatever he does like he's built it yeah where like, he's not just fighting then, another like, guy with Iron super, Man armor like, yes. supernatural and like shit where like yeah that's yeah, what was dope about him fighting Thanos is that yeah. it's just a dude in a suit fighting a fucking titan yeah. and he was putting up a fight he made him fucking bleed yes that was so cool too, I'm pretty sure yeah and then, like, that was such an awesome part of that, especially for Iron Man and Tony Stark, like that character. Fuck, just I can't seeing, wait for it. Oh, wait, no, he wasn't the only yeah. one who didn't bleed. Uh, yeah, it's like for Endgame. I'm, I'm psyched to oh, watch okay, a couple well, heroes die in Endgame. Oh, God, I'm going to cry. Uh, I watched, I, my mom recently watched Infinity War over the Christmas break for the yeah. first time, and I watched her shed a tear for Spider-Man, and I was like, I did this. I played yeah. this movie for you. You're welcome. Yeah. My mom <laughs> wasn't <laughs> too sad about Spider-Man. My mom was real sad about Gamora and Bucky. Yeah, Those really. were the two, yeah, uh, and Groot. She was real, she's well, a big fan of Groot. Groot was, was pretty because he was first to go, and he also just goes like he's like Cap, and then he just fucking yeah, dies. Yeah, Steve dead. Um, Fuck. The one I actually I really like, or well not liked. Obviously, I didn't like watching characters like yeah. die, but the one I thought was good was um, Black Panthers. Oh um, yeah, literally this... his guard that was her life is devoted to saving him mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, between the two, she's the one that lives, and Black Panther just fucking goes. It's yeah, like, and his last words are, "This is no place to die." Dust. <laughs> die. Like, uh, what do you guys think about um, them releasing the Far From Home trailer where Spider Man and Nick Fury and all those people who weren't were dusted are now not dusted? I'm. I don't care. I, I don't care. Okay. Care? Honestly. Yeah. And Marvel has done such a good job so far of releasing contradictory information yeah. and hiding pieces of information. Um, apparently, fucking Aaron Taylor Johnson was like on set for Infinity War, so like people were wondering if he was going to be in it. Mm -hmm. And they've had Michael Rooker on set for like Guardian for an Infinity War as well. Mm -hmm. And they right. really they've had. I'm pretty sure they've had people say that. Some people say that oh this takes place before Infinity War, and some people say oh this takes place before sure or before Endgame, Endgame after, after Infinity. Endgame. It's like they're literally lying through their teeth mm -hmm. like all the time. I'm pretty sure Kevin Feige confirmed that it takes place after Endgame. What does Far From Home? Far From Home. Yeah. Again, that he still could be fucking. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, true. Like, I don't. Anyone could be lying through their teeth. Exactly, yeah. which is why I kind of like don't want to. I don't like. I'll listen to all these theories and that, but I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna believe anything. Yeah. Well, the one, the one I'll thing for, for like for it. Civil War, they literally had the same shots from the movie. They just CGI'd out yeah. out Spider Man in a lot of the marketing until they had the one trailer. Was like, oh, he is in it. He is yeah, actually in the these Super shots. Bowl trailer, wasn't it that they had him? Like, yeah. Fuck it, God, yes. I wonder what's going to happen. Over this? Lands, he's just like, hey, hey guys. guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that trailer. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just like, any like Marvel marketing, I'm just not going to believe any of it. I'll just, I'm going to go watch some movies. I'll believe the title of the yeah. movie and when I'm going to see it. Marvel's done such a well, uh, good job like with their movies that it's like, 
You could just tell me when things are coming out. I'll go. Yeah, you, you don't even have to tell me what hero it is. I, I could just go in there. <laughs> just say, okay, we've got a movie shit. coming out April 27th. If you want to come out, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that's sold. The, the big one was, there. I remember, I don't know if you guys remember it. There was a while where everyone was getting tired of Marvel movies. They were complaining about them all being the same. Um, and then Winter Soldier came out, and people were like, oh, yeah, Marvel movies can be kind of good. And then the the next Avengers came out, Age of Ultron, which was kind of, yeah. yeah. It was like, that phase three, though, is like when they started turning yeah, around. They started yeah. dipping down again, and then like... Civil War, I think, was one that kicked it into, these movies can be really yeah. good movies. Yeah, but then I also right. did start hearing those complaints again before Thor Ragnarok. Really? Yeah. Uh, I, was, I, what, what movie came out before Thor Ragnarok? Uh, Guardians um, 2? Yeah, I think it was Guardians 2, and, and like people were like, oh, they're starting to dip again. But then Thor Rainrock came out, and now I'm hearing less of those mm-hmm. complaints again. Guardians 2 was kind of mad, though. I, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed I really it. Enjoyed it I had know, its moments. I know some people that found, like, specifically found Guardians 2 better than Guardians 1. Yeah. No. And I just, I very much did. Uh, I think the Guardians movies will always be, like, some of the best Marvel movies because, mm-hmm. like, they always have, like, the most heart to them. Yeah, exa- yeah, they do. They're, they it's good characters, mm-hmm. amazing characters. Yeah, and there's a lot of good chemistry between the cast. Too. And now we'll have like, to see where it goes after uh, when Volume Three comes out. Yeah, yeah we'll uh, see if James Gamora Gunn. survived or whoever, or Gamora whoever fucking survived. That's honestly like as much as I do like the Guardians movies. Guardians Three is one of the ones that are coming up where I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna go. I've, ha- I've had de- my they, fill of Guardians, de- sort of. Like that sounds weird. And also, like, the whole James Gunn situation yeah. kind of assaulted. And was like, eh, is it gonna be the same without James Gunn? Depends who they get okay, to this exchange. Especially coming from me, this is gonna sound really weird. Mm-hmm. I'm more excited to see what comes out of Suicide Squad two than I am of Guardians three. Really, really. Is he, Jesus. Is he still rumored to be? Uh, yes. Directing and yes. writing that. Yeah, yeah. Here's not not only for James Gunn. James Gunn is a fantastic writer and director. Yes, yeah. love that. Um, but also just between, like, Suicide Squad was such a shit movie, but between the characters there, I like Suicide they had Squad. Potential. Ser- I like this characters behind Suicide mm-hmm. Squad better than I like Guardians characters. So I think with someone good at the wheel, Suicide Squad can be good, as long as, but with what they have to do, they have to get rid of some people. Yeah. You can't bring, bring back King Croc, or Killer Croc, Killer King Croc, Croc, whatever, the way he is. Um, Maybe King Shark. Maybe? <laughs> Honestly, bring back fucking uh, Black Spider, or no, bring in Black Spider. He's basically mm-hmm. a Spider-Man ripoff, but he's evil. Right. But he's still fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I and I, I really like DC properties, which is very sad for me because <laughs> those movies yeah. have been. Oh, yeah, yeah, their universe has not been the, the thing best. Is, Aquaman was good though. That's that's what I'm hearing, but it's they're, they're, they're the just upswing. making that. Iron Man One was a great movie. Fucking Captain America: First Avenger wasn't the best solid movie. Does it still hold up though? Yeah. Do you think like Captain America one? Like uh, first Iron, Iron Man one, I think. Like, oh yeah, Iron Man yeah, yeah, yeah it definitely like, does film. hold up. Like they've gone, they've had so much more development and shit, and like these new ones. Yeah, Dude, it does. Have you have you watched it recently? Go back and watch it. It holds up. Yeah, it does. I, yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. Yeah. I'm just saying that like there's so much more to Iron Man now yeah. than like other it's, characters yeah. and like bigger storylines and shit. Even so, Iron Man It's such too. a small condensed thing. Iron Man 2 is a fun movie to watch still. That's a really... When I was catching up for Infinity War, I didn't watch Iron Man 1. I watched Iron Man 2 because it has Don Cheadle as Rhodey. It has uh, Samuel Jackson as yeah, uh, that's true. Nick Fury. And Black Widow came in for the first time. And yeah. just, it introduces all yeah. those things. And I had to skip Iron Man 1. And okay. I felt kind of bad. But... A scene I don't think got enough love. Iron Man 2, the, the suiting up scene at the F1 race. That was yeah, fucking dope. That was badass. Yeah. That was badass. That was so cool. And, like, that's... I mean, there's been so many Iron Man suit-ups I want and stuff. my board. Like, but that, that's definitely up there as one That's of one of my favorite ones. I like that it went from... Like, that was the first, like, quick suit-up he had to mm-hmm. literally Infinity War where he pulls strings and Woo-hoo. the nano suits <laughs> fucking yeah. come out. But there, there's also been this whole thing about, like, how, like... Subtly, like his technology has been getting better and better and better because they aren't giving him his own movies anymore. They can't right. have like these big Iron Man scenes of like how him making the things uh, better, a suiting up so montage or like a like a yeah or like him building shit yeah. montage. So he's just kind of like subtly yeah, like oh here's a little bit better suit, here's a little bit better suit, well, here's all of, this kind of thing. One of the um he's something still working on I, I was talking to my dad about. He kind of like he complained about how he's like in Infinity War Iron Man has a nano suit and he's just like that just came from nowhere I'm like no but he had nano machines in Civil War they, they said it <laughs> remember in Civil War he has that watch that he like pulls over his hand and then it turns into like oh, a yeah. little blaster that's nano machines yeah like very little ones it makes sense. Yeah. it's small it's a, it's, a, like it's a progression that makes sense yes exactly the one thing I don't 
the one the one thing I have about Iron Man is that in Iron Man three he gets rid of the arc reactor and he's like I'm gonna blow up all my suits I don't wanna be Iron Man anymore and then in the very next movie he's in I'm Iron he's Man Iron he's Man Iron Man again, again. Yeah. and yeah, there's like, not really an they did explanation kind, as to why they did kind of explain it in Civil War but it's still like why it, in it's that it's one just, did it's, not it's muddy it. waters on that subject on like why yeah, he I came know. back I know I appreciate that they did get rid of the arc reactor though like that was kind of like him dying through the suit and he needs it and then they're kind of just like well isn't that what makes Iron Man Iron Man kind of not really. Like, I guess not really, but like the character-wise, but yeah. like. I don't but then, know. then again, doesn't it the kind of add more to an Iron Man? Yeah, but doesn't that kind of add more to it that like they get rid of it, but that's then true. he's it's still like, like, I'm still fucking Iron Man. Yeah, and Fuck that's you. on the like, Robert Downey Jr. Bitch. with him and Pepper is like being strained by the Iron Man suits, and mm-hmm. he just can't quit being Iron Man. Like it's it's a really <clears throat> really cool dynamic. I really want to see what they do with um, Aunt May and Spider Man in Far From Home. Have which is in relationship. Yeah, 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 but like even even is like, that a relationship think, or is that just him flirting with her? Maybe I don't know. I was trying to think of a funny like ship name. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Hogue. Uh, Hogue Happy May. Happy May. Happy May. I don't know. Mappy. Mappy. Map. Oh. Chappy. Uh, okay. <laughs> that that reminded me of a of we're going back to the directors like uh, Neil Blomkamp. Yeah. He came out with fucking District, District Nine. Nine, fantastic movie. I was like, oh shit, this guy can direct. Then Elysium came out. Elysium came out. I liked Elysium. I know a lot of people didn't, but I enjoyed that movie. Elysium? Elysium was kind of... It was one of those movies that it was like, if someone Joey mentioned Foster it, was in that it'd one, be like, oh yeah, I saw that, but then like, I couldn't oh, yeah, remember I forgot, any forgot that movie existed. But then Chappie came out, and I'm just like... Oh, yeah. What? I'm gangster number one. Yeah, it was, it was too... <laughs> I saw that movie in theaters. Ooh, buddy. <laughs> That's what I think. Nice burp in. right into the microphone. Remember, That's what the well, audience wants. Yeah. The one thing That's my thoughts on Chappie. That's my review on Chappie. What was cool was like this was when all of those robots were getting big. Like like, like bipedal robots and all these like Houston Tech or whatever. Those were getting yeah. really big and then he came over. Yeah, no, like like the knock over like what the fuck, Richard? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and then and then Neil Blomkamp he came out with Chappie and I was like, That's kinda cool. Kinda a look on it. See what yeah. he does with it. And then Gangsta number one and I was like, hey, oh. Oh. Oh, stop, stop, go back, go back. Yeah. <laughs> reverse, reverse. <laughs> Slide to the left. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, so what do you guys think about Neil Blomkamp's next project? He, Suicide Squad 3? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's Man, doing... He is doing a RoboCop movie that oh, is apparently yeah. like... Uh, that is completely like ignoring sequel. the remake. And it's like a direct sequel, so like, it, yeah, 30 years after. With Peter Wellens, the original RoboCop, back as RoboCop. Huh. I will say one thing. I don't think we need it. I want to see a trailer first. That's yeah. always my response. Yeah, but like that kind of makes me a little excited. Like they're bringing I, back Peter you know, Wellens as RoboCop. I, I, because... love... I always get excited for like those movies where it's like, remember that movie that happened 10 years ago? Remember those shitty sequels? Well, forget them. Uh, this is what's going to be real now. Yeah. Well, yeah so so they're kind of doing... That? Yeah, exactly. How was that one Terminator's good? doing it? I, I don't know. I still haven't seen it, but I've just heard a lot of conflicting opinions right now. About, about the Halloween. About movie. Halloween. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people that are like went and saw it who were Halloween fans. Over really, like, I, mo- I mostly heard positive things about it. Really? Yeah. I enjoyed Interesting. it. Interesting. I, I still I like need the first to watch Halloween it for better. Myself, but. Yeah. Yeah. So do I. It's on, it's I don't watch right too many horror movies. Hashtag sponsored. But. Not actually. I, Halloween. Yeah. Blu- the Blu-rays Blu-ray, out. Blu-ray yeah. Halloween. Um, we we do it. Well, I, I don't know. I love RoboCop, the old school movie, but yes. not because it was amazing cinema or it's it's so it, it, ha- it, it, it has a lot of cheese value I, to I, it I it has a lot dollar. of cheese value neil uh, blomkamp isn't a cheese director though like he's like chappy was as cheesy as he did in uh, chappy and people didn't like it yeah yeah i feel like Ch- chappy was not see... like purposefully cheesy yeah I so was... i don't know i don't know there, there's directors that can do purposely cheesy and then i i just i just don't know i think one of the reasons why robocop is so cheesy though is because it's aged like, for an 80s movie, we yeah. find parts of it funny that weren't supposed to be funny. Right. When the dude falls out and his hands <laughs> look, like, <laughs> look like absolute dead. That's hilarious to us. But back then, that was... Like, oh, that guy actually fell out the building. Yeah, that was like actual special effects, not yeah. like a goop. Yeah, but now we watch the guy's hand get shot off and it's like, <laughs> like so, really, it's not the same. I honestly, I... I don't know. Looking back at it, I don't... I can't say either way if I'm going to like it or dislike it because I do think that... A lot of times making spiritual successors or remakes or even like actual sequels to old movies doesn't always pan out but there's um there's a tons of there's ways where it does 
Yeah. We were talking literally I was just talking about it. Dread. Dread is a remake of a like it's not really a remake, it's still taking after the comics that they originally were there. Yeah. But yeah. still kind of going off of the old movie that came out. And this dread was way different and way better and awesome. And way better cast. And yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Way <laughs> like cast. nothing against Sylvester Stallone, but Carl Urban just absolutely mm. killed it. And, and like Peter Peter Weller was a great role. Like Stallone. So bringing him back? Yeah. I don't know. It could yeah. work, but it also couldn't. Yeah. Neil Blomkamp is it, very... It really could go either way. Yeah. Wasn't um, Neil Blom- Blomkamp uh, working on like an Alien sequel thing? Yes, he was. Before they, they before they were doing Alien Covenant. Yeah, before they did all the prequels. Like, like he was like in pre-production and rewriting yeah. it, and he had an idea, and it was going to be like Sigourney Weaver, another Sigourney Weaver-focused alien mm-hmm. movie. And then Ridley Scott came to the studio and was like, "Hey, I have an idea." Why don't we do something different? So then they put his off. I think like officially they just like put it off for a period of time. Right, but like it's still it's it's like New Mutants now. Did you hear that New Mutants is gonna is getting pushed again? Probably. Really? Yeah, I don't know if that movie's gonna happen. New Mutants. Yeah, the X Men one. Yeah, that's like a horror movie. It looked really good, like from that first trailer that came out, and got me so excited for it. Yeah, and then it got pushed. Yeah, but and then, then it got pushed. Yeah, but then it was like a, another old like X Men timeline. Yeah, not quite and then, and then sense, Disney bought Fox, and it got pushed. Yeah, is he, is he South? Yeah, he is South African. Yep, he, 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 has, he does a lot of South African based. Uh, and he, stuff. I think he's like part Canadian too, or something like that. Like he like was educated in Canada or I'm something. I'm from shit. there. Yep. Yes. Yeah. The Canadian part, not the South, South African part. born Canadian film director producer. Ah, Look at that. That's cool. That's right, cool. Well, Way to go, Canada. We have to support him now. He's Canadian. Okay, I'm right. I'm looking at the Wikipedia page for James Gunn. I did I had no idea that he wrote the scripts for the live action Scooby Doo movies. You didn't know that? I didn't oh, know that. So funny. That makes so much sense. Oh, and they're so good. Oh, they, they are so good. And they're, they're kind such of weirdly good like perverted at points. <laughs> if that yeah, makes that's sense. exactly. For the kids movie, you gotta have adult humor sometimes to exactly. keep the adults in. Well, they just like straight up. There's a part where they all switch bodies and Fred's just in I can look that's so naked yeah like literally like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's funny but and then there's the part did, where did Shaggy he write, meet, did he like, write both or both, just yeah. the first one oh both. yeah he meets, he meets a girl named Mary Jane he meets a girl named Mary Jane like that is my favorite name it's like oh my <laughs> god and, the that, plane, yeah. and there's a whole thing about like the camera like goes up to the fucking van and there's like all this smoke coming out and then it goes in, there's, they're grilling. Mm-hmm. There's not their hot box, yeah. they're just grilling oh, in there. <laughs> that, Dude, no, those I movies just, were amazing. I love those movies. Sorry, I'm on like a tangent. Just can like we get like a private SSN screening of Scooby-Doo and Scooby-Doo <laughs> Absolutely, too? absolutely we can. I don't I don't know if I've talked about Old Boy on the podcast before. It's one of my, It's. I just watched it recently, the old Korean one. It is yes. a fantastic movie. I've I just looked at it. it. Fuck you. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Or yeah, no, no. Well, let me see. Wonder okay, so this is the Josh this is the Josh Brolin one, which I found out had a thirty million dollar budget and only made four point oh, yeah, eight million. Okay, back. I knew that one. Jesus. I, I didn't realize how much of a I feel like that movie upon release might have gotten like torn apart by critics because of the plot twist. I think well but the plot twist is pretty consistent okay. with um, oh, the no, old okay, one. Okay, no, the plot <laughs> twist is consistent with the old one. It's it's Kind of, it is kind of a good plot twist, but the thing is, like, it's real fucked up. Mm-hmm. And the like that's why I got shit on. I guess South Korean film. Yeah, should we say what the plot twist is? Like old, like uh, the old one. I have not seen it, out, like, but like it's an older movie, so like we won't. I don't really care. We won't hang on it too long. So if I really, we are gonna talk. I want to talk about it. <laughs> Do you mind if it gets spoiled? Do you really care? No, no, go ahead. Um, go go watch Old Boy on your own. Even if you know the end, watch the movie. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah. Uh, skip ahead like five minutes. <laughs> we'll yeah. probably be done talking about it, but. In the it's about this guy who gets trapped and like uh, locked in a, I think in like, like a, a ho- hotel. Like it looks basically. like a hotel room, yeah. Yeah, but it's like super secure and stuff. He can't right. get out. He gets trapped in it for like 10, 50, 15, fifteen years. years. Wow. Fifteen years, yes. And he finally gets out, and he because he gets out, the first thing he does, it's kind of funny. He just goes and says, "I want to eat something." Like he does some stuff first, but he says, "I want to eat." He something. He pulls the Iron Man. He's like, "I want an American cheeseburger." Sort of. <laughs> Basically. He, instead, he says, "I want to eat something that's alive." Oh, and, oh, and like before, like he goes into this, like he's a yeah. shitty person. Like he's like neglectful of like his family. He's a drunk. He's, like, he's uh, drunk. He's neglectful. Actually, of his family, he's not. Shit. He's sort of neglectful, but in, in the in the Korean one, he he still like loves his daughter. Like he gets his right. daughter a toy, and even though he's like a drunk, he's still like, "I'm gonna give my daughter this toy." Yeah, so he's like a caring, but. Ever. Yeah, he's kind of a shitty dad who cares. Yeah, you know, exactly. he's one of those. Yeah, that's of guys. one of the differences between this one and the American one. And the American one, Josh Brolin is the main character. He just doesn't give a fuck about his yeah. kid. Yeah, and he's kind of. Yeah. Anywho, he gets trapped. He finally gets out. He goes to a restaurant and says, "Hey, I want to eat something live." So he does, and then he passes out. Um, he gets he helped do. by one of the waitresses there, and then they kind of 
start like a little romance. How did he eat in this hotel room for fifteen years? Oh, oh there was a like someone was like sliding yeah, food. He, oh, I see. Thing. It was like a prison. Kind yeah. Of thing. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was straight up okay. in prison. So he, hmm. um, while in while he was imprisoned, he actually trained on fighting because he vowed once he, he gets yeah, out. Yeah, they, they had he had a little TV, so he like at least in the American version, he had like a TV and he watched boxing or something. Nice. So he like. Watch all the boxes. He did push ups all the time. Yeah. In the in the Korean one, he makes a um, he carves out a like person on the wall and then like practices like jujitsu against oh, it. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's pretty fucking nice. dope. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of it's it's really good filmmaking. But anywho, he gets out. He vows, I'm gonna find who did this to me and mm-hmm. I'm gonna fucking kill them. So he goes. Yes, he through. Big big whole action thing, fighting all the fucking dudes. Yeah, he finds he finds the person that was running the place, mm-hmm. and then eventually he finds the guy who set the whole thing up. Until where it is revealed that the reason the guy set the whole thing up is because in high school, the two went to the same high school, Yeah. and the one guy that got imprisoned, he saw the the rich guy who set him up, he saw him and his sister having a really weird, not, like, sort of sexual moment. He, yeah, like, right. kind of, like, looks at her tits. It was, mm-hmm. But, like, nothing, like, actually happens. Anywho, he tells his friend about it and is just, like... And starts this big whole yeah. thing. But he doesn't mean to. He even just tells his friend, like, man, this is kind of weird. But he's going to, like, summer camp, so he heads out. Right. His friend is a blabbermouth, tells everybody, <laughs> and the girl eventually... So why didn't he get the yeah. friend? Yeah. yeah. So he, he eventually, he kills himself, and then, um, uh, well, the, he, I, the guy kills the friend at some point. So okay. Yeah. He tortures this guy. Girl kills himself. The dude's really distraught because like sister just died, and there might have been a relationship mm. going on. It's really unclear. Yeah. Um, anywho, so the guy he goes and he's gonna kill him, and then the rich guy reveals that the um, romantic relationship the guy had with his waitress, with that waitress, okay, that girl was his daughter, and he fucks her. Ooh. So it like reveals like oh that girl he fucked earlier in the movie that's his daughter yeah oh, okay. and that's yeah. a fucked up twist but yeah, it's right. real weird it really works it's, in this movie yeah, yeah it's because it's just like one of those weird out there movies but yeah. that's why I feel like it didn't make any money at all like the American people version saw that movies. and they were like yeah. or, or like or like no I feel like critics might have seen that and like was like this movie has a fucked up plot twist don't mm-hmm. watch it or some mm-hmm. shit like that yeah and I could see like like if it's like gratuitous like there was no reason for it to be. It's w- they that, handle it way worse than but the, like, the remake. Yeah, the remake. yeah. Kind of like, yeah. like that's like why I don't like the butterfly effect. I know I'm going off on a tangent here. With mm-hmm. I, I didn't see that one. Uh, the butterfly like with Ashton Kutcher is like a lot of like crazy like horrible horrible shit happens. Like kids die in that movie, and then mm-hmm. like uh, like Ashton Kutcher's like, yeah. oh my god, go back in time and fix it. But like it's like you could have done a different kind of thing to demonstrate the whole time travel thing and mistakes and shit. It didn't have to be. Uh, that sort of thing. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I can, so I can see if it was like something like that, and like people got upset and didn't like it. But like, if it makes sense for the story, and it's like, it's a good twist. Well, the, yeah. the thing with the um, your your movie sucks. If you do you know who I do know, yeah, who they do. he did a fantastic video on both of them, mm-hmm. um, and he basically compares the two and says why the Korean one is better. And one of the things that the American one did worse is that it tried to overdo the ending. Right. The ending is already really fucked up for Old Boy, but it's really good because there's this super rich guy whose sister died who might have had a romantic relationship with him, mm-hmm. but he still blames this guy who just saw it happen. He right. saw it happen, told his friend. He didn't spread the rumor. He was just the sparking incident, and he blames yeah. him for her death. Yeah. Um, there's also this really super fucked up part where at the beginning of the when the, he finally finds out who did it, he like has him trapped and he knows who did it, but he's like, I'm not gonna tell you anything else. Mm-hmm. And he gives him a remote that says, um, uh, that he says, if you push this button, you'll kill me instantly. But if you kill me instantly, you'll never find out why I did it. Ooh. So eventually he makes it to the yeah. very end, and then the main character pulls up the remote and fucking like hits the button to mm-hmm. kill him, and it starts playing a recording of the main character having sex with his daughter ah. throughout the room that he's in. Ah. Yeah. It's super fucked up, but it's like it's it works so well with the villain. Yeah. It makes so much. This guy's fucking crazy and in love with his sister. Like, and he's yeah. weird. So, like, yeah. the fact that he does these fucked up things is weird. And in the in the American version, it's <laughs> so weird. It's like but, an incestual family uh, that and, doesn't make any yeah. sense. And, and as Marvel fans, it's kind of weird to look at it because it's Josh Brolin no, and true. Elizabeth Olsen. Oh, so it's oh, like, no. it's like, oh, Thanos Move and Scarlet Witch. Like, uh, oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh yeah. no! And but I mean, <laughs> have you ever heard of the um, we have the yeah yeah I have heard of that fuck hallway fight scene with the hammer? Yeah okay. Yeah. That's yeah that's from Old Boy and the Korean uh-huh. one does it amazing and the American one does it. 
Man. I think they say like the Holly scene from Daredevil. I was like, what does that have to do with I, I, I just started season three yesterday. And? I like it so far. I like it so far. It's, I, oh, season yeah. three is a pretty solid season. Yeah, I, I, I started it, I it before Christmas break. I haven't watched it since. I think I got like two yeah. or three episodes I, in. I started Iron Fist before Christmas break, and I, I didn't I finish. I didn't Fist. finish the yeah. new season of Iron Fist. I, is it that bad? I keep. It's saying, not like, that bad. I just like I. Happen. Yeah, and also like that was, I, that was when I was watching it. Right, I was watching it right as it got announced, or as it got announced that it was like not coming back. So I was right, like, like, uh, and like I possibly it. moving to But now that, like, at least Daredevil Season 3 and Punisher Season 2 are out, so, like, I should probably get through all those mm-hmm. this way, like, before they're up. gone. Yeah, they're probably they're gonna stick around on there. It's just they might you know, like they not. They won't get rid of them when, once, like, they're all cancelled. <laughs> I think that's uh, what's gonna happen, is yeah, that they're all gonna get cancelled and move to the Disney streaming service. Well, they are all cancelled, and they're still Even on there Punisher? now. Yeah, they're still on there. Yeah, Punisher. Just, or Punisher is Punisher's just got a new season. It, yeah. It's gonna get canned. Yeah. And that's like, what they did with Jessica Jones and with Daredevil. Yeah. They like announced they were they like the new season well, came out. They waited like, a couple weeks yeah. and then canceled it. I can see them like uh, keeping them on there for a little bit, but like like I don't know what kind of like paperwork has to go through with that sort of like thing and like what canceling a Netflix series does to it. If it's just gonna stay on there forever. I, mean, I feel like Netflix might, might be able to keep the rights. Away. I feel like Netflix might be able to keep the rights on it and then it also go on to Disney yeah. Plus, whatever. Or like it like continues when on that. Is Disney Plus coming out. That's, that's my whole thing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Anyone watching this, watch the Korean old boy. I think we're yeah. done with old boy spoilers. We are yes. we are done talking about yeah. it. I just like yeah. Fuck that! I I heard how good that movie was, and I never watched mm-hmm. it, and then I finally did, and I'm just yeah, like, it sounds interesting. What the fuck? Why haven't I watched it? Who, uh, who directed it? Um, Park something. Park. What else has he done? Because I don't recognize. He's that he's name. a South Korean filmmaker, so oh, okay. is he the same win. guy who did Snowpiercer? I like that movie. Yeah, I love. No, no, different guy. Okay. Um, Park Chan Wook is his name. Um, he did The Handmaid, which came out a couple of years ago, and he also okay, did, yeah, part of Old Boy is part of this thing he calls the Vengeance Trilogy, where he directed okay. three movies all about revenge, hmm. <laughs> which Makes is kind of dope. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. if I was a known director, oh, I would be known for something like Oh, he was a, oh, he was a producer ass. on Snowpiercer, he wasn't the director. Yes. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Um, I mean, he, do, he does Korean film, though, like, yeah. he's yeah. Ooh, very popular there, ooh, but... One who rumor. did the uh, American remake? I know we Spike should, Lee. We, we should really, Spike uh, Lee. Spike Lee. Really? Yeah, it was huh. which is sad because Spike Lee made some good movies. Uh, one criminally underrated movie he did, uh, Inside Man. I think that's what it's called. I may be wrong on that. It has that. Clive Owen and I think Denzel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah it's like a whole bank robbery thing and okay, like the yeah. whole like little twist thing they do at the end to reveal how well, like how the whole bank robbery went about, like how it was done or whatever. It's it's really good. I was really oh, happy with it. I thought you were going to go on spoilers there for a second. No, I'm not going to spoil it. I was thinking about We've it for a spoiled second. old boy. Don't ruin this yes. one for uh, me. One thing I just ran across for Disney+, Plus, Marvel might be planning to do not X-Men movies, but just X-Men shows on Disney+. Bring Plus. back the old X-Men theme. <laughs> they bring back the old Spider-Man theme. Bring back all the old themes. Bring just bring back the old stuff. Yeah. All just of it. Let me watch Batman yeah. Beyond. <laughs> so <laughs> bring back the Batman animated series. Okay, so, all of them. Yeah. The way that I'm looking at it, the way that it's kind of seems like it might be going, Disney might be just like go doing a whole shitload of MCU stuff on Disney Plus. X Men, yeah. they might just do a whole it's lot like of smaller stuff. Whatever that Marvel one shot thing used to be, that's what it is now on Disney. Yeah, Plus. they're just gonna do like a whole bunch of series on all on I'm Disney excited Plus. For that, uh, oops, that huh? uh, so I'm gonna have uh, to get Loki Disney series. Plus. Shit. Yeah, yeah, we're or uh, legally okay, stream it, okay. but I'm not confirming that Even I do that like, at all because I'm on the internet right now. Plus, we're in this business, right? Exactly. Yeah, like, we, I really we, should support my industry. Yeah, but like, buy Blu-rays. Oh, Disney though. Yeah, exactly. I don't like. I'm not. I, don't I support been talking the little about guys. I will not buy Disney. No, uh, <laughs> they own enough. I've been working on that fucking video essay. I haven't been touching it. But You're I... making a video essay? <sighs> What's it I've talked about it on the podcast multiple oh, okay. times. So I'm not going to go on a big tangent right. about it, but just a whole thing uh, about. I look forward to it. Okay, a whole. Uh, it's a, just a short video essay, maybe a long video essay about why I think Disney is basically the modern evil corporation, <laughs> modern real life evil corporation, and, they've told stories about and why them taking and why them buying Fox. 
even though people are excited about like oh Fantastic Four or X-Men all yeah. that coming to MCU not lot, everyone being happy why it is I one of the agree. scariest things to happen in this industry but I'm not going to go into too like, much into yeah. detail about it but like because well, we don't want to spoil the video essay coming yeah, out soon yeah, yeah. 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 or just Google or, monop- business, or Disney <laughs> monopolization practices and then you'll be you hear making a Monopoly movie with Kevin Hart <laughs> oh god I heard about that what the, okay what the fuck I are they wait. thinking with that I don't know about you is he playing the Monopoly man I have no idea oh my god are we going to see Kevin Hart in a monocle with a big fake mustache and a suit. <laughs> I was like, oh I my was god, so, like not into this movie. It's like, are we gonna see Kevin Hart in a monocle? I want like, how, can, how are you like, not excited for that? Like, are you not excited for that? Posters, but it's just Kevin Hart in the monocle and the mustache and the top hat. Okay, is is Gambit still coming out? Because apparently it's it's the same like thing uh, with like the news where it's like, oh yeah, we're making it still. It, we're just it's just not coming out for another like, seven years. You heard conflicting resu- things about like, oh yeah, Channing Tatum's still in it. No, Channing no, Tatum's not. not in it. Oh, no, we have this director. No, we have this yeah. other director. Yes, it's a part, yeah, it's a part of the series. No, it's not part of the series. I wonder if it's like one of those things where like he's done so much for it that like now that he's gone, oh, like he still deserves a credit. He's like, I'm gonna be like Ryan Reynolds with Deadpool, except I'll be with Gambit, yeah. everyone's favorite character. Remember cards? <laughs> <laughs> Remember X Men Origins? What Gambit I remember. Was in? I remember. I remember. You remember Will I Am? <laughs> Me neither. I'm Gambit. <laughs> it's me, Gambit. It's me, Gambit. I love cards. <laughs> Ace of Spades. That's a card. <laughs> Queen of Diamonds. I really hope this isn't real. This looks like fucking garbage. Yeah, that's a that's a fan of. Yeah. Yeah. Look how stupid that looks. <laughs> oh, Liberty's looking at uh, Gambit. Gambit yeah. fan art. Uh, Gambit. No. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Gambit's always been a cool character, but he's one of those characters that. But he's like, never been done right. And he's you throw Gambit. What was wrong with Taylor Kitsch? Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that one. Gambit's cool when he's part of a movie, not when he's the movie. The main focus. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. yeah. Gambit's see. dope when he comes in and he's just like this little guy that fucks around with stuff, but he's super badass. And then he dips and he's like, "Well, yeah, like see you later. I'm doing my own shit." And then you're like, "Oh." I want oh, more wait, Gambit. Come back. <laughs> and then we get a full movie of Gambit. It's like, like oh, are we wait, going that's, that's enough. Home. That's enough. That's yeah. enough Gambit. That's enough Gambit. Because that's one of the hardest. Like, like, that was like, like the Lego Batman, Batman movie for me. I was like, oh, it's cool to have a Lego Batman, Batman in the Lego movie. movie. I don't need a whole movie about Lego Batman. Batman. Exactly. And yeah. some characters. Yeah, I used to have a lot of faith in the Lego universe, and then they made Lego Ninjago. The Lego verse. <laughs> the Lego verse. Lego. <laughs> the LCU. The Lego cinematic the LCU. universe. Which I joke about, but like is actually. I mean, it's, a, it's a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Speaking well, of cinematic universes, how's that? Uh, yeah. How's that? Uh, Transformers like. G.I. Joe, Hasbro oh, universe God. going. The Hasbroverse? Uh, have you not heard of the Hasbroverse? Yeah, they were talking about they were <laughs> talking about doing like uh, they were doing Transformers and G.I. Joe productions. crossover. Oh yeah, like Power Rangers. And then they were also going to fit like Gem and the Holograms in there. Really? And, yeah, and then they had the Ooh. Gem and the Holograms movie come out and it was dog shit. Mm-hmm. And so like people I had, like, wait, there was a movie? Did yeah, they have a movie for it? Yeah, yeah and it was absolute dog shit. Oh my God. How many fucking cine- like universes there are now? Like, yeah, I know. Time moves together. Okay, from, so MCU, DC, Lego, mm. fucking this one. Um, there's the Archieverse now, like because of the show Riverdale and yeah. like Sabrina. Now there's a whole Wait, universe. Those are connected. Uh, okay. Yes, there's a part in Sabrina where she goes like, "I know someone from Riverdale." <laughs> 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 and I fucking pro- hate that. They're produced Jesus by the same company. I can understand, like, like comic universes and, like, sure, do, do a fucking Transforming with toys and shit. <laughs> fucking, like, two shows that have nothing to do with each other besides that they're on the same network. They're produced by the same company, too. Well, the, but but that's, still. That's, still that's, that's my point, is that, like, they have no correlation besides the fact that teenagers like them and they're on the same TV network. And oh, let's connect them. Same universe. Have you seen the lighting in Riverdale? It's almost like they copied Blade Runner and then didn't do anything interesting with the cinematography, just lit it cool. I'll be honest. What I watched the first. I watched the first season of uh, Riverdale on Netflix when it came out. I was like, oh, this girl I'm trying to see <laughs> likes, likes Riverdale. I'll watch the first episode. And then mm, things didn't go well with that girl. Buddy. But then I kept watching Riverdale because <laughs> oh. I was hooked on the story. And I was like, oh, oh buddy. Who, who killed the Bloxham twin? Who's gonna? How's this gonna work? Who's gonna date who? Who's gonna date who? Yeah. Oh, I'm oh really God. entangled in this drama. And then season two. season season two started. I watched like the first episode, and I never like yeah. it was like, awful. I hated it. Dude. I was like, oh yeah, this show's dumb. <laughs> that show is so fucking funny now. Yeah. <laughs> the, the whole, it also the might have been like the part of it. Line. I feel like, like I'm missing out that I haven't the, watched the a single line. fucking frame of that show. 
You, you uh, really watch the first are. season. Watch the first episode. Okay, okay. I'm getting two different things saying here. First season uh, isn't bad. Second season is fucking horrible. And, and it's got that guy season, from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody in it. Uh, it does. <laughs> uh, okay, I've got too much shit to watch. That's going to be my excuse. Yeah, okay. I still haven't put finished Daredevil. I still haven't finished Black Mirror. I still haven't watched the new season of The Punisher. I still haven't watched the last season of House of Cards. Do you guys know the basis? I don't know if I want to watch. Do you know what the basis of the third season is for that show? What? Of Riverdale. Of Riverdale? There's a third season? Yes. Oh, my God. It's going right now. And it's about how kids are playing this game called Goblins and Gargoyles, which is basically just fucking... Candy Crush. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, exactly. But kids are getting possessed and, like, killing themselves because of it. What? <laughs> what? Hey, why does that sound like a really shitty Blumhouse film? Like, why does that like, sound why does like... Why sound, like, completely opposite of what the Riverdale, like, Archie... The Archie ...comics were. The Archieverse? <laughs> the the Archieverse? Archie yeah, really. No, it's, like, getting, like, mystical and weird. I don't watch it, but I've watched videos on how shitty it is. That's, like... Just videos that Of all the places you oh can go God. with teenage drama, you go to, like... Kids are playing this game and they're killing themselves. Hey, you know, What's going on with that? Well, it was like I think it's supposed to be like a commentary on way back in the day, like, like when people got scared of like yeah, Dungeons and Dragons. They, they, they thought it was like actual Satanism yeah. and shit. Oh, but God. instead, but they're doing that and they're like, oh, but it's not just people being fake. It's about not it. just they're it's not really just, getting possessed. It's not just moms being scared of their kids mm-hmm. being Satanist. It's actual Satanism. Yeah, yeah that was like. Uh, my mom watches Bones. I do that like, too much. It's like your catchphrase, Mac. It's actual I, Satan. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, that that reminded me of, like, an, I hate when they, like, they take that culture and they'll, when shows take cultures like that, like the whole, like, nerdy culture or some, like, subculture like that, and they make it actually what people fear of it. I was watching Bones with like my mom. It's the exact opposite of like what you should be doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, like, cause the no, one, this was okay. Was one Why of the few, were you afraid of it? <laughs> like one of the few episodes I've seen of Bones, they take heavy metal culture like that and they actually... That used to read in Shut school. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and they make like heavy metal culture look like actual like a bunch of Satanists and killers and like people dying oh. at metal shows and all the metal heads are like, oh, fuck, like this is what happens. And it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, it should be like them thinking that they're demons and stuff until you realize you're like, no, I, I, I go home and I work at my I have a wife and kids. Yeah, I just like like metal music. Yeah, exactly. Like been to plenty of metal shows, never seen any of that type of shit. Watch one episode of Bones, and they're trying to make heavy metal shows look like fucking Satanist blood generations. Some people are yeah. so fucking out of touch, though, when they write. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, like, take every single teenage, like, 90% of teenage dramas coming out ever. Yeah. Anything on the CW. Time. I stopped watching The Flash and, like, all the Arrow shit. I used to be super into that. I fucking hate it now. It's a soap opera. Do you... Wh- and the, the emoji uh, movie is existence. Don't love me anymore. Yes. Part of... Uh, one of the jokes in... Or one of the things about Titans... I've talked about... I don't think I've talked about Titans on the podcast. I started watching it like the DC show. I, yeah, I start. I watched the first episode. I'm. It's not that bad. I'm okay with it so far. It's and the thing is, when it's gritty and CGI serious, is like hit or miss. Yeah, I guess CGI is kind of brutal at points, but mm. when when it gets serious and it has action and like it's yeah. like a I, I show, like that Rob Robin scene. Like, yes, he's like, it kills it. It does yeah. it really well, but it is so unfunny. It like yeah, there's a part like, where the jokes never. Hit. Yeah, there there was one part where of uh, they just had like. Two really weird, out of touch, making fun of vegans jokes. Which really? is this in the first episode? This is in the first episode. Oh, okay. There's one part where um, I'm all for making fun of vegans, but like, really? I, 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 I watched the, the first episode with my buddy, show? and like, yeah. There's um, there's one part where this guy um, uh, th- this they're at like this house for some reason. I don't want to spoil it, but I already spoiled it once. Oh boy. <laughs> um, and then this guy's like, "How do you like your steak, or do you want a burger?" Please don't tell me you're vegan. And it was like, like oh. really, like, 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 like what? <laughs> like what? Uh, okay, like, like making fun of, like I live with vegans I, and I understand yeah. we make fun of vegans too, but it has to be funny. Yeah. yeah. If you want to say something that's gonna not like, just like, oh, you're that, not vegan. Like bring it up out of nowhere for yeah. no reason, yeah. out of like. And if you want to say something that's borderline offensive to any anybody like that, it's like. Is it funny? Because if it's not does funny, the joke, it's just offensive. Does the joke come naturally? Yeah. Is yeah. the joke forced? I watched the, the first episode with my buddy, and like, there's I don't think there's a lot of jokes in like in in the in the pilot, but uh, no, it gets for some reason it gets jokier and worse. really, oh. but the action still holds up. So it's like, and there was there was one. That's what, I'm gonna watch it for like just watch Robin kick ass and like. There's there's one watch scene Raven where um, one one character who I don't want to mention to spoil it for you. 
it's one of the characters that you got spoiled for. You were not going to talk about it. Okay. Um, I, 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 have, I have something to say about that later, later but keep going. Anywho, um, where he's fighting... And he has his finishing blow is he does like a backbreaker on someone where he grabs them and like knees in the back. Yeah. And he goes lights out, bitch, when he does it. And <laughs> it sounds like super it, it sounds like, like it would be like the worst <laughs> line to say. It like, does. The it delivery does. sounds like it's going to be so awful. It so <laughs> I don't know why. I do not oh, want to see that. It worked so well, though. It did. It's like so brutal and gritty and stuff. And just like this arrogant asshole fighting. And of course, the last thing he says is bitch. lights out, bitch, and fucking oh, backbreaker man. somebody. It's so, it, like, it made no sense. <laughs> you know, I was watching with Sinjin. I looked at him and I'm like, I liked that. He was like, I did too. I don't understand. This <laughs> yeah. is weird. This weird feeling. Because those, those corny, those corny jokes, jokes, those kind of ones can work. They like can they, work they have to be earned, earned and they have to not be forced. So far with me, like for the first episode of Titans, it doesn't seem like it's like a cheesy like joke show like that. No. Now apparently, like it gets so cheesy. That yeah. one wasn't necessarily like cheese. It was a character who's an asshole being an asshole. While okay. So it works with the character and it doesn't feel forced. And I feel like does the actor deliver it very well? He does. There you go. Yeah, that's what makes it. Because you don't want it. You don't want it to be like looking at the camera, and winking like lights out, bitch. Yeah, exactly. Wink to the camera. It like, was like you don't want that. It was in the heat of it. He grabs somebody, and as he's bringing back, he yells lights out, bitch. And like, with the character, it makes sense. Batman, like we said, he yeah. wouldn't go lights out, bitch, fighting somebody. This character. Well, that was. I think that was the whole yeah. thing with like the whole like fuck Batman. Like when the, yeah. when the trailer came out, like yeah. that was like I don't know necessarily about delivery, but like. People didn't know Without Robin. Without context, yeah. it made people no didn't sense. Know, people didn't know Robin that way. And now with the context of watching the pilot, I really enjoy that scene. And, like, I shit on that all like all the time. Like, oh, the Titans is going to fucking suck. You know, that whole fucking Batman thing. Yeah, I was kind of... I, I, I hate it. I was, it's probably my favorite DC property that's come out. Really? Which is saying... I, that's I wasn't a the biggest really? fan of Wonder Woman, honestly. Oh, okay. I, I, I really I enjoy Wonder Woman. Oh, like, like movies it? included? Yeah. Titans is your favorite? I didn't dislike Wonder really? Woman, but for the me it was... The third act kills it. The third act kills it was, Wonder Woman. It was mediocre, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Titans is mediocre, too, but I'm more in tune with the characters of yeah. the Titans, so... Right. That's why, for me, I get more out of it. Yeah. Okay, so what I was going to say is, I have fucking beef. I am fucking pissed. Welcome to the segment of the I have had, okay, what the fuck, what the fuck is it with people on YouTube, people on YouTube putting fucking spoilers for shows in the goddamn titles? I keep seeing that. I keep, like, looking, like, I'm literally just, like, because I've looked at DC shit, I get, like, DC shit, like, recommended for me on YouTube, and it's, like, Titans, season one, episode fucking whatever, and then it has, like, names of characters and, like, full spoilers in it. I'm, like, I didn't even know this character was in this show. Why are you putting a spoiler and, like, a whole thing about it? And it pisses me, and, like, that was at a point when I was, like, thinking, like, okay, I might actually watch this show. Oh, this character's... I didn't want to like... Yeah, I, and I've seen... I think I've seen enough of those spoilers where I'm, like... I'm, now, now I know, like, happening. watching in this kind of and general is, point. I'm when, like, we, we, when I was talking about it, that, <laughs> the big one that got spoiled, like, the things that happened that got spoiled. I haven't been spoiled. In the context of the show, it's different than the way it sounds. Yeah, yeah no, you, you, you explaining it to me, I'm still probably going to end up watching it. But there was I a mean, point yeah, when, they're all on Netflix. There was a point when, like, the people pointing it up on YouTube with the titles made me not want to watch yeah, the show anymore. Yeah, exactly. It, like, ruined. Because no, that I happened to me a little bit. I want to go into... I'm really upset about it. Yeah, I want to go into movies and TV shows knowing as yeah. little as possible. I like I'm, watching the first trailer of things, but then I try to hold myself yeah, back from like, watching anything else. I watched the first trailer. There's, there's, a, I wanna there's know, some like, people out there that like, were like, we'll hear about movies and then not watch trailers at all. I'm like, good for you, man. I want to see stuff. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't. Yeah. Can't. I, I want to go in knowing as little as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom watched Thor Ragnarok without knowing that Hulk was in it. So did I, <laughs> She like, loved it. Did she loved She was literally like watching me like, Oh, he's yeah, in this? You know, yeah. Is that the whole? That's the I, whole? I do agree with what, that. He, I like, oh my yeah. god! And it was great. It was a great experience for her. The 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 Thor I know marking could have like really benefited from not showing Hulk and then having that be like a reveal. I think that could have been fucking sick. Yeah. No one knew that Hulk was in the movie, yeah, uh, and then all of a sudden he well, burst through the door. Think, I don't think Hulk needed. Spider Man really sold Civil War and made people we want to see Civil War Spider Man's in it. You didn't need that for Ragnarok. People were going to see Ragnarok, and they're like, and Hulk's in it. And it's like, did they know? Because Thor, okay. Thor the Dark World wasn't that good. I think that's what they were scared of. I, yeah. was, I was up for Ragnarok before I knew Thulk was in it. Uh, Thulk. 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 Hulk was Thulk. in it. Yeah, um, I didn't know that Dolph Lundgren was an Aquaman. 
Goblin. And Aquaman. Oh, shit, Wait, sorry. what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Jason yeah, Momoa is an Aquaman? I, but, like, I got Willem Dafoe spoiled for me for that movie. Yeah, but like there are like, actors in there are even like actors in movies where I'm like, I didn't know that person was in that movie. That that's really that's cool. cool. Like, there's there's a surprise factor to people showing up, characters showing up, yeah. things it, even it's happening like fan in movies. Service. Like, oh, I didn't know insert any was here. Exactly, entire set pieces. If I get, if I'm go surprised about the yeah. go, that direction they're going in a movie, well, that's that what makes, makes movies it, good is the surprise. Exactly, it's so much better. I you don't want a Batman v Superman this and sh- show your major plot yeah. twist at the end. Doomsday. Yeah, you don't want to show that shit in the in trailers. I saw I saw Ragnarok with a friend, and in the scene Wait, before. You I'm sorry, that was rude. <laughs> in, the, in the scene before, that was rude. before Dick. Hulk I'm sorry. comes I'm sorry. out, like when it's like anticipating it, like and your enemy, he just like leans over and he's like, "Who do you think it's gonna be?" And I was like, "Oh, you don't know?" And he's like, "Yeah, I, like I haven't watched anything." I'm like, "Oh, just watch." <laughs> and then he was like, "Okay." And then when Hulk came out, he like grabbed me. He was like, "Yo, yo!" And was, like, and that's when I was like, "I wanna, I gotta stop watching shit for movies." Yeah. That like, I mean, I'm I'm a for me now. It's like I watch the first trailer and then that's it. I want to have an idea of what the movie's about, what I can expect going into it. Yeah. And then from there, it's like, I want to see it. Yeah. That, Maybe someday and, uh, I can evolve to just watching like that, a that's, teaser trailer, but usually it'll be like, the teaser comes out. Ooh, yeah, that, Spider-Man Far From Home That's teaser. one reason. I'll wait for the trailer. Okay, you, can, you said it was mediocre, but that's one reason I liked Wonder Woman, was the whole twist at the end. I really didn't know that the one guy was the villain. We're going to oh. spoil Wonder Woman here, I guess, for anyone who hasn't well, seen yeah, it. Well, yeah, it's been out for a while, if you haven't seen it. Yeah, uh, but, like, the whole, how he was the villain, he yeah. was actually the Ares, god of yeah. war or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, I felt like I that was that a good choice, because they kind of did, like, though, they, they, honest, they was, really, they kind of built up that the other dude was the well, god. No, yeah, they kind of, yeah, like, did, like, it was like semi-hint at it and put it in situations where he actually could have been. My behind that was that, like, oh, they keep trying to tell me that this guy is Ares. He's definitely not. But I feel like it still kind of worked because like she be suspected it was, but yeah. no one else did, so it would have been like her working towards that. I just can't get I, I, and I forget the actor's name, and I feel bad who who plays like the actual Ares. Richard Thewlis. Yeah, he, whoever is in Harry Potter and Prisoner of Azkaban, he plays a werewolf guy. Yeah, Richard sure um, Thewlis. Um, Google this. Evil looking dude. He's <laughs> not really. He's got like the funniest mustache, yeah. and when am I thinking of the right person? Yeah, are you thinking of the guy David that you Thewlis. think is... David Thewlis. I don't yeah, know why I thought think the guy Richard. that they think is Ares, but then isn't, is the general know. guy? Because that guy looks scary. That guy would have been perfect to play Ares. Yeah. Yeah. But he this dude? Like... Yeah. That's, he's he usually, creepy looking. He usually has like the funniest mustache, and he does in this movie. And when he turns into Ares, the god of war, big, scary, I... dangerous dude, he still has that mustache <laughs> under the helmet. And I can see it anytime he's on camera. And it's the fucking most hilarious thing ever and it, it diminishes all like potential he has as a scary villain i i don't know uh, i i trusted him because like i i only ever knew him as a uh, lupin from the harry potter movies yeah so i looked at him and I was, he was like a trusted face i didn't i don't see him as like a creepy dude but but like, again i didn't i didn't see that plot just going i i don't know for me wonder Woman was just one of those movies where i came out with it and i was just like i can understand why people liked it i understand the cultural it, it's my whole thing with like it. black panther is that like, yeah exactly it did a whole bunch of things for the industry, yes. I, mean, it, I think Black like, Panther has some really cool storytelling. It sets up some cool yeah. story shit. Yeah. It's it's not Oscar. I don't want it to win an Oscar, I don't think. I don't think N- it's No, no, not for, like, best picture well, like, or anything. People, like, like, back like, back when it first came out, people were like, get this to be best picture, and then that whole, like... Oh, no, no. Yeah. Okay, no well, then, Marvel whole, like, movie most popular is... movie of 2018. Yeah, okay, I category. love the Marvel movies. I love Black Panther, Infinity War, all those, but, like, mm-hmm. they're not... Best picture. Hey, you guess, you guess what movie has won an Oscar? Suicide Squad. Spider Man. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, it did. I it did. Spider Man Two hurts. also won one for visual effects. Yes, it did. Ever. Yeah. Some people shit on the visual effects of that one. Spider Man Two CG is pretty good. Spider Man yeah, yeah. One is better. Um, than okay, one thing. One thing I will say. Aquaman. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it was nominated for best VFX. I wouldn't be surprised. Like it's, I'm trying to think like what movies would. I think great. Infinity War could be because of that whole Thanos thing. Like Thanos looks Dustin. really good in, yeah. in all the Infinity motion capture in that was really all the mocap. I thought it was just Josh Brolin. Oh yeah, I thought they just put purple makeup on him <laughs> and stilts. Yeah, they had him work out a lot <laughs> and, and and it grew. <laughs> oh, sure, um, that's fun. Yeah, I can see Infinity War being nominated. I can see. I can. I can absolutely see Aquaman being nominated. Aquaman, yeah. Um, we didn't have Star Wars. Black Panther will get ten Academy Award noms. 
the fuck? What? Okay, is that like, like confirmed or is that like some? Will, what? Is that like speculation? That's or is spe- that okay, confirmed? that's. It's a speculation, but still. Still, I'd uh, none. <laughs> but, uh, We're predicting the movie will reap ten bids. Best picture, no. Best adapted screenplay, no. no. Best costume design, no. Well, no. I, yeah, I, 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 I could see, see I could see okay, costume. Wait, I, was, I could see costume. And immediately, I went to Black Panther's costume, and I'm like, no. But then I was like. All the everything Dora Lange, else, like, all the everything else, and, like, the, yes. the building of, like, yes, yeah. I can see that. I Best see makeup like, and hairstyling, sure, maybe. Again, Best same thing. I can see, maybe like, the most, okay, maybe production. Killmonger's, design. like, yeah. maybe production. I can, I can see it being nominated for all of those. Best those score, three. no. Best song, no. Sound editing, no. Best song, though, with that, like, with that weekend song that got pretty popular for a little bit. It did have really cool sound, but I could see it get nominated for Best Score over Best Song. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. I heavily doubt. I heavily doubt it too. will um, uh, get nominated for best picture though. I Again, I, well, is I, that I, is that best uh, or most popular movie still a category? Does it get rid of that? They, they got rid of that. Thank God. What everyone's pissed about? What you don't I like? I liked it. I yeah, I would have liked it too. Tyler and I had a whole conversation about this one day. I think it was on for like a Grand Theft Auto video, but like I don't, I like the idea of it okay. because it, it would just, be. It feels to me as like. They're just making a category to put movies that could be best pictures. And not yeah, them. yeah, not and them. they're they're doing something to like, try and you acknowledge. Want to nominate them, nominate them for uh, best picture. Like there's a but, whole uh, bunch of other nominate or awards that they could give out, like best stuntman. Yeah. Or like I think we need like a, a mocap yeah. award now. Yeah, like motion capture and voice like acting. Circus or something. is doing a whole bunch of shit for that industry. How, like, however, my argument is like. There's a whole shitload of people who don't watch those types of movies that typically win those awards. Right. There's movies, there is value to movies, because movies are a subjective thing, or a movie, yeah. there is value to movies that are just popular and are appealing to a mass audience. And so, like, even if, like, in, okay, let's take Infinity War as the example. Infinity War <laughs> is not be- is a great movie, but it's not best picture material. However, more people saw what Infinity like War than anything of, else. Like best picture noms, like we expect, like Manchester by the Sea and all these like artsy, like dramatic movies. Yeah, okay. while those movies are best picture, for, are yeah. seen through the lens of like filmmaking and storytelling and yeah. all that kind of stuff yeah. are like in a way objectively better, but like most people aren't going to be interested in seeing that. Yeah, can, people want to see can, explosions can, and big superheroes fighting, fighting giant robots and aliens and shit. So like. My my argument is like why I should why should we say that there's no value to that? Right. I mean, we should say there is some value to it and maybe give some recognition to. Okay. You guys made the most popular movie this year. Good job. Thumbs up. Here's yeah, a trophy. That's the thing. I guess it's like it just seems seems like a whole like class president thing where it's like yeah, yeah. it's it, it's it's exact, it's like popularity contest and like I don't yeah know. yeah I don't know if I'm about it or not. But yeah, I, I, I do. I do see your point. I'm yeah. I'm on Colin's side of this. So. Yeah. Because okay. I, well, I, I guess like, it's just everyone's against no, Mac no, Day. No, no there's, yeah. I, I, we've talked to people about it. people. People are against it, or not against it, but disagree yeah. with it too. And it's I understand and that yeah. the the Academy Awards aren't necessarily the spot to say, "Hey, remember that awesome movie that everyone saw? Mm-hmm. Let's talk about how awesome it is." But that's not to say that we shouldn't acknowledge that. Although filmmaking aside, it wasn't the greatest. Look at what it did. Look mm-hmm. at what it accomplished. Right. The, that's something we can't slight. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm looking at now, I'm just looking at, it's the only person posting about the Oscars is this place called Gold Derby, because they did that last article. They think that Star is Born is going to win Best Picture. I didn't see it. Over, I watched it. It was all right. Over what? Black Klansman, Vice. I need to watch a lot of like the movies. Yeah. Like, once the Nas come out, I'm going to like, go ahead and watch the free. I have these, Jesus. Yes, yeah, yeah, so like, here's the problem. Like even us there. film students who like like, like to study watch. films yeah. and watch films, we yeah. haven't seen a lot of these movies that are getting nominated. Roma, Roma, I wanted to see. It's on I've Netflix, told, isn't it? Yeah, it is a Netflix original movie. I'm excited for uh, what the heck? I, I, it apparently on. uses a lot of like one takes and yeah. apparently is tried to be made in the style of like 1970s movies. Yeah, I've not heard anything about it. I just saw the trailer with that Pink Floyd song in it. Ooh, it's uh, Alfonso Cuarón. It's, it's a very like. Low key drama talking movie mm-hmm. from what I hear, but like done very well. Okay. What do you guys think about the, the Oscars book? not having any host this year? I don't think I guys talked about this last week. <laughs> yeah, I, okay, honestly, I'm not gonna watch the Oscars because some people got like really up in arms about it. Yeah, yeah. And, and like it's just like it's Ooh, just I give out awards, make some jokes. I want to do too. I really oh, want to read a book. You know, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going, going to watch this before I have not heard anything about it. Like once the nominations come out, I'm gonna go on a huge like movie watching spree. Yeah. 
Um, the thing is, it's usually really badly timed because, like, the movies come out sometime in December, all the Oscar yeah. movies that are going to get a, awards or whatever. Then they're out of theaters around the time they're not the Oscar movies that seem or they're about like to like limited theaters. release and like they're never playing in any theater that I live nearby. Yeah, Dude, exactly. I had that I'm issue for still years. Still fucking complaining about um, came out last year the movie Sorry to Bother You. I yeah. wanted to see. So oh, I know. That, yeah, I know. that looks so fucking good. And it did not come to London. So good. <laughs> I know. We were waiting for it. We were literally waiting. For I'm it. wondering if it's gonna be in like the Highland Cinema like later because they usually play movies like that. And the thing is too, it's a movie like that where it's not. It's not huge, massive, worldwide mm-hmm. appeal, all that stuff. I don't want to stream that movie illegally. I want to pay money to see it. Yeah, that's I the type of cinema that, that we take want to. Money. Yeah, yes. that's the movies that the movies that we want to support and we want to watch. Yeah. And enjoy I legally, but like if they're, it, it's difficult for us. I wanted to see Vice. Yeah, so did I. I. Um, I have not seen that. Bradley either. Cooper directed A Star Is Born. Yeah, you didn't hear yeah, about you that. Didn't know that. Okay, no. he is like I think it was like the BAFTA Awards or some shit like that. He was nominated for like the most different most awards at the same time yeah, like as best anyone. Act, best actor, best director, best, best director, picture, best, best picture, and he also like wrote some of the songs for the movie, so he was nominated for like oh, yeah, best like original best song, song and yeah. shit like that. He was nominated for like a whole shitload of awards because he did everything. Did he win any? Fucking Bradley Cooper I trying to be more popular than that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what was he trying to do here? Uh, but the Academy Awards not having a host. That, I, don't I, I don't give a okay. shit. I, I, I feel like it's just gonna be like shit. they're gonna they're gonna do the same cheesy jokes that the, a host would do, just in the presentations with yeah. like all the different people that are presenting the awards now, and it's, it's just gonna be the same like political whatever. It's gonna be like oh Trump these days, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> that's what I I, with, like, like nothing, nothing against, against that, that, but it's, it's, it's like, yeah, stale, yeah, and I'm trying to again, escape. Again, you're, you're going to make a joke against Trump, make it funny. Don't just say something we've heard a million times. Um, the one thing I have with them not having a host, I don't think it's the worst thing, because I watch the Oscars, or at least parts of the Oscars, to see who won. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest, I don't care that Jimmy Kimmel's on stage, <laughs> and that... Or Ellen ordered pizza for all the celebrities. They yeah. let's take a selfie. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I came here to see okay. who won. Okay, that's, that's the, the thing. thing. I say I don't give a shit, shit but I'll admit there are times when I watch it and I'm like, selfie, and I'll make it the most popular. Or I'll thing. or I'll like watch it and I'm like, I do kind of. It is like a guilty pleasure thing of watching. Like, oh shit, there's that person sitting right here next to that person. Oh, there's Jack Nicholson hitting on Jennifer Lawrence. That's funny. Oh, here's there's this this presenter like making this kind of a joke. Oh, like these sharing shots, shots whatever. Up that name for that performer. Yeah. <laughs> Those little bits I find funnier because it's celebrities being celebrities. Like I just yeah. the it, written jokes in the weird setups and stuff. The only thing I really liked, or not like the only thing, but yeah, kind of the only thing I really liked about Jimmy Kimmel's is. Um, because of his like pre-made beef with Matt Damon. Oh, that, Matt that's Damon always so got, funny. Got yeah, shit yeah, on it was yeah. like here to present this award, Academy Award winner Ben Affleck and guest. <laughs> and Matt Damon's going with them. Yeah, like his like, <laughs> like, 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 zoo skin yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Where he's like, well, because I remember like that thing for the Oscars were like, it, like they had all these like celebrities like watching movies and like commenting like, oh, I like this one because of this really artistic thing. And then Jimmy Kimmel comes on for the last one. He's watching We Bought a Zoo, <laughs> and he's saying like all these like, oh, that's great co- character development there. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's really artistic what they did here. One of I think one of my uh, probably my favorite joke from any Oscars is when um, Jimmy Kimmel's talking with the movie Manchester by the Sea. He's like. Fun fact: Matt Damon actually passed up the role for Manchester by the Sea to go make a chi- uh, go make a Great Wall Ponytail movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's true. Did you yeah. watch that movie? The Great Wall. No, oh know. my god. Okay, I like was my brother. One of my one one brother was just watching it on TV one day, and I was like, oh, fine, I'll go check it out. God, that was not good at all. I'm so yeah. Uh, no, there's uh, never been a movie that I have I to not like to see more. Maybe. I think we all should watch Roma Maybe. because Al- it's on Netflix and Alf- Alfonso Cuarón. He's up to s- he's up for so many. That movie's up for so many. Awesome. Yeah, exactly. So okay, so we can watch Roma because it's on Netflix. Yeah, Black Klansman is worth a watch. It's it seems like it's. I gonna feel like be Netflix should have some sort of deal with the Oscars because like the, all those movies go like I, okay. limited series, okay, okay. limited. Uh, theater release yeah, okay. no one gets to see them unless you're like in LA okay Toronto, okay, okay. here's an idea New Screen York. Actors Guild or, whoever, or Academy or whatever yeah, I know you're listening but, <laughs> uh, yeah I know you're listening you can, you can have this idea Jim Oscar you, I know you, you're you listening can, you can take Creator this idea developer of the Oscars 
You you can take this idea. Uh, what oh, like <laughs> like an like an Oscar <laughs> streaming service? You pay ten dollars, you get access to all That'd the fucking sick. movies that like are nominated. Aren't they doing? Are they doing like a Criterion uh, streaming service? I'm so down for Criterion. That. Yeah, like the Criterion Collection, you know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be that. pissed if Incredibles Two or Ralph Breaks the Internet beats Into the Spider Verse. Oh, like that's Into the, the Spider Verse movie I see. They're not right bad in. movies. Like Into Incredibles the Spider Verse, I feel like has that one wrapped up. Yeah. Like, well, because it's done so much like innovative shit. Did Isle of shit. Dogs come out this year or last year? Yeah, it did yeah, come out. Yeah. Of the year, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was felt cool. like that movie's been out for a while. Like, I know because it's it, a good. It, it, it like, came yeah. out early in the year. It came out in the festival out. sphere, and then it came out like limited theaters, uh, and then it came out again. Best documentary feature. And then it was released there. on DVD already. Uh, uh, my neighbor. I that, okay. Any of these. Uh, uh, like won't you be my neighbor? It had me in tears in the first like ten minutes, and keeps you like nearly tears for almost the entire movie. I'm not even joking. If you're a fan of Mr. Rogers, you probably cry. Okay, even if you if you've heard of Mr. Rogers, movie. you're yeah, gonna get like yeah. emotional. Best uh, have you ever seen? I mean, I don't, we don't really watch a lot of shorts. Mm, not really. I want to get into the, them those. Though. Are really good documentary yeah. shorts. Are really uh, good. I w- I took a while to look that up when we were like having to do a short film project here. I, I did look up like Oscar nominated Man, short my films fucking, my from a couple years tomorrow ago for for the narrative project, and I still. And Rocky you you were idea. talking about it before we started, though. It sounds well, yeah. like you have some good ideas. I'm, you know, I was just bubbling, but uh, I don't know, I'm worried. <laughs> and I had one idea that I was going to do, but I am just compl- I haven't written that yet, so I'm completely scrapping it and using one that I had written a while ago. Nice. But That's that, that exactly I actually feel like... Thing, is that, like, I can't think of anything. It's, well, it, I pitched this one thing that It's one really that's work. easily filmable, but it's yeah. also, like, unfilmable because it that's may... That's always my problem, is that I write something that's it, too extravagant and, like... And mine isn't extravagant. Mine yeah. is actually very simple, very, like, down mm-hmm. in one room. It's just... It uses a lot of, like, sexual themes and sexual mm-hmm. innuendos and I, stuff. I feel like that's so. going to be a problem. It's a comedy. You told yeah, me about the yeah, it's off, a off, yeah. uh, podcast. But I, 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 Lib, I think I you think have it. access to the script on the Google Drive. I do. Yes. yes. Oh, I see. I'm just not including that. <laughs> um, I'm definitely actually going to watch this short doc. Black Sheep? Yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's about, like... What is it about? We're coming up after the hour profile. If you're listening, Are we? thanks. We can wrap this up soon, then. Oh yeah, we yeah we definitely should wrap it up soon. <laughs> um, this one says after the high-profile killing of Demo- Demiliola Taylor. What movie is this? Sorry, uh, Black Sheep. It's the oh, okay. sh- up for short doc. Um, Cornelius family move out of one. Okay, nothing is up yet. These are the most probable ones, but I mean, usually the ones you think are going to be there are there. Yes. Yes. Um, the family after the killer they move out of London, but when they discover their new town is run by racists, Ooh. Cornelius, the main character, takes a drastic step to survive. Nice. Seems like it's gonna be good. Interesting. So, so that's that's one of the Oscar nominated yeah. or going to be Oscar nominated short docs. The good thing about shorts and short docs and stuff is that they're usually not that hard to find, <coughs> and they're shorts. Sometimes they are up on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, like or like even at like people's websites, they'll have them up. Yes. Or like Vimeo link to it. Mm. Like that, yeah. uh, okay. Anything else you guys want to talk about before while we're wrapping this up? Anything else? Uh-huh. Uh, that's what I can think of. Um, no, is there any really like pressing um, topics on the on the, the topic uh, sheet? Okay, uh, other movies you've seen. They quick opinions. Any others that you saw uh, lately? Do you see Bumblebee? Did you see Bumblebee? I have not <laughs> seen Bumblebee. <laughs> Bumblebee. 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 There was a whole I lot can, of like, I can see that, I could, yeah. there, were whole, there were like set pieces in that movie mm-hmm. that I feel like I I'm wouldn't hoping, have known about that would have been cool to see. I'm right. hoping there's more. But I feel I, I hope so too, but like also watching it, it's like yeah, uh, a movie I didn't that want I thought did that. Did a movie, a trailer could have been half the length. Yeah, yeah, better. The trailer that I think handled that very well is Brightburn's trailer. Ooh, oh, yeah. yes, absolutely yes. nothing. Yeah, but so much that it gives you I a good premise and a couple of things that might happen. happen. Yeah, I don't yeah wa- okay. I'm not gonna watch anything else of that well, movie until it comes out. It, I'm gonna watch the fuck you, out of that. The movie, yeah. the trailer shows you about like a minute of the setup and then about 30 seconds of oh this is the payoff. It's crazy, yeah. but it's like you know there's gonna be so much more. Yeah, I, I watched that trailer it. with Ricky from Blendzilla Video and fucking holy shit, he he was like starved and he was excited for that movie. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I said Blendzilla video just something like plug Blondzilla. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of like other movies like, like support other YouTubers um, support small YouTubers Us is that what it's called the new Jordan Peele movie Us ooh yeah, ooh, that, yeah. One, yeah. that one looks good I, again, that looks like, good I've seen the teaser trailer I'm sold yeah. uh, I don't Jordan, want to see it anymore Jordan Peele's involved I'm sold oh. I don't want to I don't want to run into the same thing you have with Bella Buzzai where it's like I think that teaser is enough do not show anything yeah, else I, yeah yeah. Uh, I trust Jordan Peele enough yeah. oh,
Oh yeah. I forget what it's called. It's Weird like Weird City or something like that. Yeah, it's called Weird City. It looks li- it's produced by possibly written by, I'm not sure, by produced, Jordan Peele. I think Jordan Peele has a little I, bit of yeah, writing. It's literally like just pilot, Black maybe, Mirror but, but as a comedy. And it and has it's a, and it's a YouTube original series. It's an like anthology thing, thing too. So oh, it's like okay. Michael Sarah's in an episode and then you see just yeah. a whole fuckload of people in different the episodes. The guy from Modern it. Family that's like the grandpa. I yeah. Think his name. Uh, Dylan O'Brien's in an episode. Mm-hmm. Okay, like, I'm gonna look at that after this. Yeah, it's called Weird City. Um, Jordan Peele. It, it looks interesting, it. but that, like at the very beginning of the trailer, I was like, "Oh, this looks real bad." Yeah, but then like it but starts it to look started, interesting it enough. It's like, like picking this up is and, like, gonna be bad. It could be like, good. Oh, like I, I feel like yeah. I feel like it could Speaking, be good. I love Jordan Peele. Of, um, trailer showing too much. I actually I was talking to my friend about this the other day, and I, I still find it so fucking funny. Before we saw Spy- before we saw Spider Verse, um, there's a trailer for like a new dog movie. You know, like the whole like. I think this I saw the same trailer. Or whatever. It's like a dog gets lost. What? Whatever. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I, saw, I remember they that trailer. They show the complete story arc. They do. They, they show. Show. I have not heard anything about this. It's like okay. they show the dog as a puppy. He grows up. He gets lost. He, they show multiple parts of the adventure, and then they show him meeting up with his owner at the end. They show just the plot being solved in the fucking trailer. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like, oh yeah, like like th- that reminds me of like the trailer for Castaway, where like they show him come home. Do really? they Jesus. show that he gets home Jesus Christ okay well then again they could be doing uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom even though that movie wasn't great they show like this whole like arc of a story yeah. but it turns out that that's only like the first half of the movie and there's a whole shitload Fallen after Kingdom. it it's in the it's, library it's I want to rent it, it just is. because I want to see uh, my Jurassic Park franchise be kicked into the ground and stabbed uh, several times you don't Park want to do this I am yeah, I, do enjoy I, I, I loved Jurassic Park and I'll admit like even though they get shit a, on I, I a, liked 2 and 3 I, I had a 10 year old themed birthday I, I, party where all I did was screen the 3 Jurassic Park movies <laughs> and then I and that was my party <laughs> and then I, I kind of liked Jurassic World there were some things in Jurassic World I didn't like but I did like it generally but then yeah, Fallen I saw the Kingdom was yeah, just yeah, oh, I felt come on. Jurassic Chris World Pratt, was exactly what you thought it would be it's a worse version of Jurassic Park with better technology. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a, what I that's what I expected going in, and when I came out, I was like, "That's yeah. exactly what I expected." Yeah, good movie yeah. viewing. My main complaint about it. <laughs> my main complaint about Jurassic World is that they made the raptors like they kind of neutered them. The raptors, right. in my opinion, are the best. Are the best one of the best movie villains of all time? Well, yeah, because they're not—they're not a giant T Rex. They're short little agile raptors, that and they're smart, like, and they're, they're like their scary as simple. fuck. It's like. Oh Kill. yeah, these guys stole my eggs. I want my children. Back. Except, do you remember in the first Jurassic Park where one of the raptors kills a dude and then props his arm up so that a girl? Oh yeah. Back into it, the <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. Every that... time I watch that now, I'm just like, did one of the Velociraptors do that? The like Velociraptors a have a or, or was it just like a? Co- I I try to think of it as like just a coincidence. I'm like, oh, that wasn't that was a coincidence. It just for my own. Like, I think it was. I don't think like the movie's. Wait, the movie's so good. I don't. That's oh, not really things. Love favorite. Jurassic. I just find it funny thinking that the boss oh. like, Yo, yo, Eric, check this out. Oh, I can put the arm. It's like one of the few franchises where it's like they've still progressively gotten like mediocre after the next one. Yeah. Like Jurassic. Or, but the like, first yeah. one still holds up so well. But the first one yeah. holds up so well, and like they keep making more of them. Yeah. Ooh, I can probably mention this here now. Ooh. Uh, you starting in the new we're... Jurassic World. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, so Jurassic... You're directing the new no, Jurassic, so Jurassic World? Jura... It's not like an announcement or anything. I can just mention it. Okay. Jurassic Park was my favorite movie growing up. Yeah. By far, I loved it. Uh, I'm getting Back a couple... Back to Future has always been so, okay, and so always we're, will be my favorite. We're recording this. It's Sunday. This is going to come out on Wednesday, so I'll have them by then. I'm getting a couple of tattoos. Oh, are you getting them? I'm, get, I'm getting them. I'm getting a... Man, uh, my roommate got his ears pierced, and I really want to get a tattoo now. Yeah, uh, I'm getting a... Two ta- I'm getting two tattoos, dinosaur skulls, one on each arm. Nice. I'm really excited for and them. I'm really excited for them. Puss <laughs> and boots. Oh, oh okay. yeah, boots. <laughs> Honest fist. <laughs> puss boots. Yes, that's gonna be my next tattoo. Getting dinosaur skulls and then getting puss. And then boots. Again, like the DeLorean and then like, yeah. the fire. And I'm getting like that would be pretty fire, like on my. Okay, arm. and then I'm getting the instead of the Joker damaged in the same font, I'm just getting a Shrek three. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, and I'm just gonna, just gonna get like little Shreks like as teardrops down my face. It's I'm gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Gonna, I, I can really see that. Working final great. final yeah. announcement before we uh, before we, we say that now, before we, we finally end this. Else. Like we said like eight minutes ago yeah. that we were ending. Yeah. Now and we're actually gonna for end. For sure, final announcement, guys. I am going to get the full tattoo set that Diablo had in Suicide Squad. Ooh, I'm awesome! Full skull. Gonna have all the arm tattoos. Right. I'm hoping I get. What's that crap tattoos? on your face? Is that shit wash off? <laughs> I'm gonna Stop shave my. I'm gonna shave my head. Get a face tattoo on the back of my head of a face, so that no matter which way I am, 
Someone doesn't matter so which always watching. Right always, <laughs> always watching. Always <laughs> watching. It will be a huge mistake. Okay. And right, well, with that. Well, we're going to wrap this things up. Hey, thanks, everybody, for listening to our non-visual podcast. Feel better, Justin, or not. We can do this again. I, it was pretty fun. It was yeah. pretty fun. Yeah. Maybe we'll start our own podcast. Yeah, we That's could. Blackjack. The SSN Hookers. Revolt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the revolution. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys for taking along. We'll be back next week with hopefully with video. Probably with video. Hopefully. Um, see you guys no later. Promises. As always, I am one of your hosts, Liberty Roundtree. I'm Colin Burns. And I'm Matt Brew. Thank you. See you guys later. Bye. Adios.